hello! Good evening or good day, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome to the stream! So tonight, I'm gonna be playing Disco Elysium, the final cut. Uh, again, don't know much about it, other than I'll be solving crimes, apparently. Yeah! And as you can see in chat, I am very happy to know that this is voice acted. Let's fucking go! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> alright, alright. Anyway, uh, let me just switch to the game scene. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, before I do that, um... So, like, you know how I was showcasing my model uh, in my debut? I uh, forgot to show one thing. Uh, which button was it? Oh, this one. Yeah, look! I'm human, Lou, now. <laughs> no more half demon, just human. <laughs> yeah, good for disguising myself, but yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I, I forgot to show it off. It just takes off my... <laughs> it, ta it takes off my horn and ta uh, horns and tail. <laughs> okay, anyway, let me uh, switch to the game scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who poached my horns? Nah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's just hidden. <laughs> and uh, as you guys may have noticed, I've decided to add a, a gaming chair to my setup because hell yeah, I want I want a gaming chair. <laughs> full human or empty demon? Glass full empty type stuff. Oh, how uh, how thought provoking. <laughs> okay, anyway, let me turn off my background music and let me turn on the game audio. There we go. I was uh clearly I was messing with the settings of it. Okay. So, without further... Oh, actually, what is this? Eh? Oh, what the? Thoughts... Uh... And I'll leave that to the tutorial. <laughs> oh god, wait, wait, wait. Shit, I forgot to set something up. Anyway, hope y'all are doing well tonight. Not even gonna mention the chair. I mean, it's a new clergy chair. It's very nice. And, uh, funnily enough... Uh, a little tidbit for you guys. I actually am sitting in a similar chair right now. It's not the white monoblock chair that everyone loves, but I will say it is a monoblock chair. So I've always been gaming. <laughs> Hella hype, baby. Me too. I love I love murder mysteries. Well, I guess it, would you call this a murder mystery? I don't know. It's like. With murder mystery, you kind of think like people are stuck in a scenario and then, ooh, a murder happens, right? But then for this one, it's like, it's just our job, so... <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, okay, I'm done setting up the thing I needed to set up. Uh, let's see. Archetype. Think you're extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Sensitive. Very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Whoa. That sounds fun. <laughs> hmm. And this one is... Extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. I can create my own? Oh, I kind of want to create my own. Ooh, this is fun. It's like rolling for a D&D &D character, except I get to set them. <laughs> we'll be detecting the truth. Yeah, boy. Oh my god, wait. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's see. A genius. Great. Good. Average. Weak. Terrible. Okay, you can't throw zero. <laughs> genius. How many points do we have? Let's see. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Motorix. Uh, emotionally intelligent. I feel like... Okay, I definitely want high intellect. Uh... How agile I am. Hmm... I don't know. I kind of want to be great. Average Motorix. I guess this should be okay. All one playthrough? <laughs> Bruh. Has anyone actually done that? I'm sure someone's done that. That must have been probably hell. <laughs> uh, what? Select skill? Oh! Let's see, let's see. Uh, wheel, draw, intellectual power, deduce the world. I mean, honestly, I'm already kind of leaning towards uh, logic, but let's see. Call 
call upon all your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. I kind of like this one, but let's see. Practice the art of persuasion. Ooh, that's also nice. So, like... Do I only get to pick one, or do I allocate points? I'm confused. I guess I'll see, right? Um, Drama. Lie and detect lies. Oh, that's also pretty good. Conceptualization. Understand creativity. See art in the world. Reconstruct crime scenes. Oh. Make laws of physics work for the law. Sheesh. This game has a special place in my heart. Oh, can't wait to go through it then. Um, let's see what happens if I... Hmm? I don't... What? Wait. I don't understand. Uh... What is happening? <laughs> huh? A volition hold myself together. Do I only pick one, like, everything? Oh, the art is gorgeous, for sure. The game order. Heart. <laughs> Uh, okay, keep morale up. Inland Empire. Conscious and gut feelings, dreams, and waking life. Understand others. Oh my god, I can be an empath, you guys. <laughs> Intimidate the public, assert self. Connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. Okay. Uh, charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Eh? Wait, what did I. Oh, because I clicked nothing. The skill you select will gain a plus one bonus. Additionally, the learning cap for every skill at the same time will be raised by one. Ah, oh, I see. Endurance. Take the blows, don't let the world kill you. Um. Shrug, oh, oh. Shrug off the pain. Flex powerful muscles. Go party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Uh, raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. That's kind of vague. Huh, wonder what that means. Let the body take control, threaten people. <laughs> oh boy. Respect my authority. Uh, ready, aim, fire. Perception. That's generally good in D&D. &D. See, hear, and smell everything. Let no detail go unnoticed. That's also kind of tempting. Um, let's see. Reaction speed. Savoir faire? I don't know how you say that, but okay. Sneak under their noses. Stun with immense panache. Interfacing. Master machines pick locks and pockets. Ooh. Or straighten my back. Keep it poked. I'm, I'm straight on my back. <laughs> uh, in game posture check. Um, can I. So I can only set one. Right? I. Don't know what would happen if I go confirm. Uh, this UI is confusing me a little. So I kind of want that. Or maybe this. So I only select one. Yep. Uh, fuck it. I think I'm going to go logic. I think I'm going to go logic. Well. Per perception is also tempting though. <laughs> um... I'm wondering, like, you know, because this is already pretty high at 5, so maybe I would benefit more if I made this higher instead. Like that. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go with this instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 head loot. <laughs> I think I'll go with this just to balance it a bit. Uh, I'm a confirm. Ooh. So many possibilities. I'm already excited. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thomas, I think that said. Anyway, let's begin. There is nothing. Ooh. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Damn, that's a deep voice. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but okay, okay. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Are the derp eyes working? Just let me know if they're uh, malfunctioning, I suppose. 
the redeem, I mean. But hey, thank you for the redeem. <laughs> uh, ancient Retilian Brain. There's nothing, only warm for more to cook it. Yeah. Oh, it's actually goes in for real. Sheesh. Oh god, wait, the door pies are off. There we go. Or did it already wear off? I can't tell. <laughs> uh well. Uh yeah, there we go. Bah. Oop. Okay, continue. Eva. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't done. I see. <laughs> Never Eva. Good lord. Okay. Never ever ever or simply keep on non exist. The fuck? Are we playing at the start of the universe or something? <laughs> um, never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> okay, I guess I just simply keep on not existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. <laughs> What's with my X5 joke anyway? Um, what was that about the X something? Uh, give me some more, or this is great. Uh, this is great. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, so I actually just go through all the options. Okay, well, uh, give me some more. You got it, sweet oh, okay, brother. Never mind. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. How about you? Cough up some more. Uh, I like nothing. Yeah. I know you do, baby. I know. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Uh. Alan Z, let's go. I don't know that word. <laughs> All right. Nothing town to fuck over. <laughs> um. Look, there's... I am tired of being this type of animal who gives his... Oh, uh... Let's visit the ancient Zero home! Great choice, oh, Elder so... One. Oh, always thank... Been like this. Thank you for checking out the mod, Sephiro. Welcome, will. welcome! Glad you like the model. Great choice. Okay. Um... Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless but what is this i mean i do look Somewhere very huggable in the I? sore <laughs> bloated man meat around you man meat a sensation so it's in this boat is this somewhere in the sore blood of man meat around what like a fly to the ointment oh wait i'm dead just sticks to it is that why i'm doing nothing the this dimmed and headed machine of pain an undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. Disco? He said the thing! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Um... Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. Stop! I don't want to hear anything more about the sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing! The stench of liquor rises <coughs> from your mouth. I know with it. An ungodly headache! Bro, what the fuck is that voice? <laughs> Reminded me low key of Sam Regal. Um, did I die from alcohol poisoning and then I'm back, or did I not even die? Maybe I'm just waking up from and having a real bad hangover. <laughs> it's Hatper Dean. Yes, thank you for the head pat. Um, who am I? What sort of creature does this girl know? Uh, help someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Oh. Uh, okay. Somehow, you know what it is. Hello. 
A Caprice can make a merge carriage. Oh, what the? Already a skill check? Whoa, check that out! My total 11 shrewsh! <laughs> a Kukri Kinema motor carriage. Is that a car? What is that? Hellsinger? Woo! <laughs> Whoa! What the? Wait! Do I have to censor anything? Hold up! <laughs> Wait! Uh, uh, wait, do I have to censor this? I don't know. But please put your pants on right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Go a bit. bit. You hear a jingle. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Okay, fish them out. Oh, perception. That's cool. But yeah. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium. Whirling key in ring. rags. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, hi. You don't look very good in what I assume is your portrait. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, I can level up shit. Ah. Okay, and this is my inventory, I guess. Okay, bonuses from items. Electrochemistry. So the party plan... Oh, because of my trousers. And... But at the same time, the trousers also do that okay they make me less sneaky or something <laughs> yeah it wasn't the beginning of the universe you were just picking up i see damn it <laughs> yeah briefs should be fine maybe but you know at least it's all stylized and stuff uh what bottle this magnum sized bottle of commodore red is empty have to highlight oh that's neato okay i'm can you go away? I'm already holding tap to highlight. <laughs> what is this? A coat? Oh. Okay. This real to real tape player is still on. Rolling empty. Um, can I interact with that? Yes. Oh! Shoe? Oh, was I missing one? Wait. Like. Oh, I see. Okay. Anything else? Uh, oh, there's my coat. Here you go. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> Take call. There it goes. Disco ass blazer. <laughs> nice. This one. Okay. Whatever. Um, do I say anything about the fan? This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has oh. attached itself to one of the blades. Oh, okay. Pull on the light bulb? Oh. Oh, cuz... Uh... Well, I'm a pull on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Okay. Um. Hi. 83% plus. This is a white check. You may try it. Um. I guess I try. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Nice. Yay. <laughs> what you have in your hand is a truly hideous <laughs> thick tie. With four or five different Oop. patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Anyway, can I pull on the fan again? The switch must be broken because eh? nothing happens. The air in the room is starting to feel like vaporized urine. Well, shit. Can I pull on the light bulb? A terrible Ow! mistake. <laughs> Turn the lights off immediately. <laughs> you can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Okay, turn them off, turn them off. The lights <laughs> are off. Okay, uh, leave. <laughs> broken window did we do that the window stands broken in its frame cold wind blows in uh assess the damage the shards Ooh. face outward whatever broke this window came from the inside did i break it with my own hand a fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand but none of it is recent oh 
What did this More likely a projectile than a held object. There are oh. no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Uh, assess the size of the impact? It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. How about a bottle, maybe? The single green shoe you found fits the hole oh. almost as well as your foot. Oh. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. Well, I found it. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony. Oh, wait. Outside. No, no, I don't have it. <laughs> the door to it should be outside your room. Um, I should go and get that shoe. The cool wind Ooh. gushes in. Your oh, that was a task. Okay. From the cold. Yay! We did something! <laughs> Shoes. Uh. Wait, am I still. Where is it? Hmm? Do I still have to pick it up or something? Where is it? I thought I should be wearing it by now. Right? Yeah, it seems like my green snake. Sh okay. But didn't I. Huh? Active done. Oh, oh! I still have to. Oh. The window stands broken. Oh, look out! The morning light hurts your eyes. The it's mystery hazy, of the shoe. But you see the ocean <laughs> and some war-torn buildings. War-torn. Okay. And there's an ocean. Okay. So something about the balcony that I gotta check, right? Uh, let's go here. Oh, bathtub. Yeah, inspect that. Uh, words fail to describe our rank. Oh dear. Oh, the sink is running. You're not gonna do anything about that. Don't waste water. Take call. Oh, I was just wearing the coat without the shirt. <laughs> okay, and the necktie, I think. Is that all? Yes. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Uh. Was this not the same oh. Elo that founds empires and lays waste to cities? Virile, uncaring towards the little things? Huh? <laughs> it's too early for this shit. What? <laughs> Who murdered the window? It was us. Case closed. Yep. Wow, that's our first case done, you guys. <laughs> Feedrun. Uh oh wow, twelve. Okay. Probably not. No. <laughs> Hot water sprays from the faucet's base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself; just the vague impression of a man. Okay. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Yeah. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You oh. don't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Uh. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. What? What's wrong? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Uh, I'm sorry. That my nose. Bet you are. Your nose feels like oh. a small balloon in the middle of your face. <laughs> it hurts when you honk it. It doesn't honk? appear to be a particular honk my nose. nose either. <laughs> Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Uh, at least my tongue is okay. It's not. Oh. <laughs> it's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Uh, did I go back to this? I should be able to, right? Ah, fuck it. Wipe the mirror. Oh. Oh! <laughs> you have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? <laughs> Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's eh? clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. 
You're scaring yourself. <laughs> Says her at least. <laughs> Uh, no, keep making the face. You can't, can you? <laughs> it's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Oh dear. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Uh, superstardom. You should check yourself for a pulse, <laughs> superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. All right, I'm gonna check for a pulse. Sure. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. Huh. You appear to be alive for now. Ooh. Well, that's impossible. Oh. Uh, dig deep into your mind to look at the source of you. Uh, I can try, I guess. Like the rest of you, it <laughs> comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Ah, uh, fair enough. Okay. Attempt to stop me. Nah, let the mirror be. Well, well worth a shot, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. So my shoe is outside, right? Wait, can I? How do I? Uh, I would like to see more of the scene. Can I not pan around? Oh, what the? Oh, I can move with West. Ah. RNG indeed. I mean, the odds were low. I knew that. Hmm. Okay, what happens if I interact with this again? The window stands broken in its. So it doesn't say anything anymore, but shoe. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even zoom in on the portrait, but you guys can see it. Oh my god. <laughs> that smile. I can't run, but that's probably just because uh, I just woke up from being drunk. All right, I guess I'm going out without a shoe. <laughs> hmm? Locked? Really? Okay. Well, uh, okay. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. At least I don't. I don't think I can go out. I, I tried. Hmm. Can I inspect this again? Oh, I could take that. Ah. Oh. I mean, I don't know what I'd use it for, but... There used to be a tip in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the Ateniers. Single, smallest church in St. Sines. Must have rubbed someone the wrong way. Okay, do I put it in here? Can I interact with it? Oh. Doesn't appear... I can interrupt. Can I still not go out? Okay. Um. Let's go around a bit more, I guess. Can't interact with the bottle. Oh, here we go. I didn't see that door. Ah. That makes sense. Because the balcony would be there. So what is that then? Oh. Ooh. I should go... Um. Somewhere. Yeah, link of... Oh, what is that? Radio? Saying shit. Okay. Something on the table. Money! Yummy. I mean, don't eat money, but... <laughs> is that a thing? No, it is not. Uh, can I go here? Oh. Oh, it's a different area. Ah, can I go back in? I want to be able to go back in. I'm just trying to go to the general direction of where I think the balcony is. <laughs> Jump out the window. <laughs> oh, I think it should be it. Hey, my shoe! There we go. Come here. What is this? There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Hooray! Like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Healed more off. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Cool. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay. And they're both on. Ah. Alright. We can go back in now. I believe. There's nothing else here. Yeah. It's so bright. Get me back in there. <laughs> Okay, now let's see what we can inspect around here. Hugh Pog indeed. 
Hello. Hello, officer. The young woman raises oh, a nice cigarette voice. to her lips. Miss Orange Disco Dancer. Okay. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Okay. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Um. Uh. Officer. Am I military personnel? Uh, no. Uh, then why'd you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, you sure? I don't know. I just don't want to say number three. <laughs> I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. I mean, you asking this kind of makes you sus now, don't it? All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, oh. no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Oh, <laughs> you fair have enough. No doubt about the drinking. That's about right. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lit drunk? She must have heard something. Mm. Uh, challenging. Okay, never mind. One. <laughs> um. Well, I might not know where I am or who I am, or what a Kupri Kinema is. How I know what one sounds like. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. Oh. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. I see. A percent easy. What? Better odds than gacha game. So true. And um, why didn't you just tell me that? Although I'm surprised you know that, but I guess you know it's a body. Yeah, people would know. I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, I should get going now. She's not gonna have an answer for number two. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Thanks, Klaasje. Klaasje? Classy? Oh, maybe it's classy. Maybe. It sounds about right for a dancer, right? Something stirs in you as she's oh. about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Uh, before I go, I have some questions for you. Yes. Um. Uh, what is it that they have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Okay. Um, so your room's almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. She said the thing! <laughs> How many times are, gonna, are they gonna say disco in this game, I wonder? Uh, did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh. Uh, loud disco music. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Okay. She raised an eyebrow waiting for the name to connect with you. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about OO, oh, oh, the better. Okay. OO oh, oh, were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Oh. A little bit of singing, cool. I can't believe it. Disco in Disco Elysium? Now we need to find the Elysium, right? <laughs> um, yeah, we go on, all right. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Oh, uh, was I singing this? Yes, there was XP. a church in there, hey. a really small church. 
like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. <laughs> it was about that. And also... Uh, what else? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Uh, then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Oh. Um, that's so me. Uh, what did I do? A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think, uh, you passed out. What a way to go. <laughs> Said tiny pilot. Um, please tell me there wasn't anything else. There was. Eh? I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. Oh! I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Oh, was that us waking up with like the reptilian brain thing going on? <laughs> I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Okay. Uh, tell me what year it is. It's 51. What century? The current century. And what's... That's what? What number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. Oh. And this is the current one. How many centuries have there been then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Uh, what's so funny? You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. <laughs> um, so where exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. So like, where are we? We're in the world. We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, in the meantime, uh, should the uh, revival forever? <laughs> uh, should that mean something to me? You sure look like you're from Revachol. Revachol parties. Oh. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. Ah. She's from Aranye. Oh. Another part of the world. Aranye. Okay. Then that means your name is Classie. Okay, class here. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you can go now. Thank you for the info. Glad to have been of assistance. Yay. And calendar? Oh, there we go, 51. Well, could have just looked at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Uh, that's not our room. This is our room. That's class yes room. How much? You're literally completely reset. How much did you drink? And more than enough, apparently. <laughs> or maybe there was something in the drink. <gasps> Wait, sorry. What? Trump something? Fuck, I didn't read that. Uh. Anyway. I mean, what if we just knock on the door? Like, what happens? Oh, okay. Well done. <laughs> uh, what if we can we bug her again? The door is closed. <laughs> should I? Should I bother her? <laughs> uh. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> you know what? You'd be nice. I'll leave her alone. <laughs> But I don't know if we can go back here or not. I... Uh... Is there anything else? What's this? Nothing on the front page rings. Oh, auto save. Okay. Wait, can I manually save though? Oh, I can. Okay. Cool. Uh, nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Okay, what if I walk around a bit? Do you have any more comments? Maybe? Let's see, let's see. Nothing? Okay, nothing it is. Let's keep going, man. 
Uh, down the stairs we go. Whoa! Welcome, raiders! Thank you very much, Bell, for the raid. I shall uh, shout you out right now. Whoa, what? Wait, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What's happening? Oh? Oh. Oh, okay. We're just panning. Okay. <laughs> shout out the lion. Thank you for the salt. <laughs> it worked this time, right? Oh my god. Sorry. New model, you know? Gotta make sure. Okay, uh, microphone? Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> this is where the lyric should be. Okay. Okay, but did the salt actually work? It's a pretty quick redeem, so like I can't tell. If not, then I'll do it myself. Big old karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. Like me? <laughs> okay, what's this? Speakers connected to radio, music season with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Oh, yeah. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Oh, sure. <laughs> karaoke stream already, apparently. <laughs> My soul's cubic content. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. So true. Through a PA system. Yeah. By other people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this goes well with the theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad small church oh song from God. the tape you found. <laughs> Thought it was obvious. Uh, uh of course. They'll get really get a gauge on my soul with that one. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic <laughs> small church song. Who's laughing now? No one. You would need another Ooh. copy of the tape first, though. Oh. The one upstairs is destroyed. Uh, this goes well, blah, blah, Who blah, blah. mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? <laughs> yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. Hmm. -hmm. May actually? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love that. And we can go back upstairs. Um, I want to look around before interacting. Was this... Water cooler. No suffed. Oh, it's a healing item. Okay. You need to find a sufficiently tragic tape and then play it on a boombox. Memorize the lyrics and ask the cafeteria manager to perform. Preferably in the evening. Okay, so it's not even it, is it? I don't think so. 8-11? Yeah, no, it's definitely not evening. Unless that's PM, but I doubt it. Uh, menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. I see. No smiling today, boys. Nope. Ooh. Stop her of an electric user. Oh, yeah, no shit. Someone's right there. <laughs> What's this? Window? Decide to catch a glimpse of Union Paraphernalia. Strike poster, some red pennant. Okay. Mess hall reserved for Union members. Doors open. Okay, 16 o'clock. Got it. The Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. Well, can we plug it? <laughs> okay, people, people. Anything else I can look at? Oh, God. Can you just. Oh, okay. You actually can't pass through there. I see. Um. Oh, wait. Is this the exit? I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. No. Uh, person. Ooh. What's this? Bottle? Okay. Oh. He's sleeping. <laughs> because I chose a more mentally savvy build, my character's noticing more stuff. I love that. Yeah, that's what I want to do. See? Perception was a good idea. <laughs> Or is this the exit? Summer door closed for the winter. Why do you have a door specifically for the... Uh, maybe snow piles up. Maybe that's it. Uh, I guess I'll talk to these people first and then I'll talk to the worker. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Ooh. The cryptozoologist's wife was a cryptozoologist. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Eh? 
I have a colleague. Hello. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Kim Kitsuragi. You, as you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same oh. enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. All right, I'm going to shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. Uh-huh. You realize he's waiting for your name. Uh, it cannot be retried. Um, invent a name for myself. Concentration <gasps> makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. Um. Uh. Wait, I thought that I would actually come up with something. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh, it is. Mm, not yet time. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, God, it that's cringe. Like we had a little scheduling <laughs> error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying oh. to meet up with you for two days, but you have been <laughs> otherwise occupied. It is not time at the way I'm repeating. <laughs> yeah, I'm goofing around. I like to think the NPCs just watch you have conversations with yourself in your head. They definitely notice a pause. Yeah. Um, e you mean uh, that guy? I... Uh, no, we haven't. No. Then we should ask him for a rundown of the area. Get me up to speed. I understand the scene is out back, right? Uh, yeah, it totally, also totally. Hard to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I have not. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Cool. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, no. So, the body is still. At least I don't think tree. so. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. <laughs> it is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the I tree. mean, I would do if I had the opportunity to go there. <laughs> Where it has been hanging oh. for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh. Um, so, uh, what were we supposed to do again? Talk to the manager. Then we go. Oh, I knew that much. I thought you had more info. So, uh, anyway, let's get going. To you, officer. <laughs> if you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Oh, uh, wait, should I have a badge or something? Hey, thank you, Logic. You mean you don't have a badge? Uh, it wasn't on me when I woke up. Using your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But get My man Kim is already done a while, I'm sure. Precedence. Well, at least I'm working with someone who seems competent, right? <laughs> Lieutenant Carry me. is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Coolio! Yay! Kim's gonna watch me sing karaoke. <laughs> well, it's still too early, but like, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great, Kim. You're working with a superstar, man. Um, What's this? That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Uh, an hour? Uh, not now, not now. Oh, excuse me. Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet syrupy rum and lemonade? No, With don't lick it. Lemon? Maybe lime. Maybe who cares? Just rum? No, finish the pot. <laughs> oh, man. 
Okay, a man sleeping at the table wearing mud cake boots and roll down overalls. Back of shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. Oh, thank you for the redeems. All right, all right. And stretching. Thank you for that bath. Oh man, my neck really cracked on that one. <laughs> okay. The I'm good. Rolled out of his open hand. You see a blister pack of headache medicine. Oh, um. Um, Lieutenant, who is this? No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Well, why is he sleeping during the day? Maybe it's not because shift, there's dude. a strike going on in the harbor. Oh. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Can I pick up the pills? The man does not oh. mind. You probably need them more than he does. Let's go! You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. Cool! Yay! Useful item. Seeing a model freak out is great. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> at least, you know, at least it's cute, right? Uh, I guess I can talk to the manager now. Uh, but I also have to find the tape, right? Us, uh, yeah. Uh. Well, anyway, let's talk first. Let's talk first. A man in his late twenties, with a thin, unimpressive beard, notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Gart. Mister Gart. Right? Got. Okay. You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, the Harbinger of Ruin? Ew, no. <laughs> What's... Gold and orange, like a forest fire, but smells like liquor. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, Kim's about to say right. something. <laughs> now, I know it took you a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. Oh. It was probably Sylvie who called Ah, me. the woman. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Okay. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, Pog. Okay. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? Of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. Martinez. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Oh. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but... As I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Okay. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is ah. when you step in and ask... Kim and are doing the job that two police officers are supposed to do. <laughs> well, one doesn't know his name. And yeah. Uh, so, uh, right. All uh, right then. Questions. I got this. His face this. expresses profound doubt <laughs> in your having this. Shut up, Ask guard. him about the body's location before asking if he killed mm. him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Thank you, rhetoric. Boy, am I glad I have an int build. <laughs> So, uh, where's the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we get there, then? That's easy. See that door there? Mm? First you exit West. through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The <laughs> hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. So, uh... You the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias <laughs> I manage. Three. Get over it. 
Wow, he manages three cafeteria guys. Don't mess with him. <laughs> uh, so why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Uh, am I not a cop? Everything in my okay, business. Okay, you got Ooh. me. She went away because Aha! of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. Oh. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Thanks for the info. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, didn't go well? I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. I guess I'd like to be thorough. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. This is it. He said they hoisted mm. him up on a tree. <laughs> Who is this? Thanks, they, Rhetoric. If he doesn't know. So before you said, oh, before you said they hoisted him up on the tree. What did you mean by they? Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers that it was a lynching. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're literally any time he shares it's a privilege. My man's busy, busy. Yeah. Uh, so who exactly is saying that? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Okay. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would a dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. Oh. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Um. So. I mean, should I ask this? I feel like it's a stupid question. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Um. Or maybe I should ask anyway. I mean, what's the consequence? I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. It. He uh, said, did you kill him? What are you, crazy? <laughs> of course I didn't kill him. <laughs> okay, uh, that's all. Let's go. Nice. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Oh. Glad Kim is taking notes. Time to copy his work. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can we check? Ooh. Call Sylvie using Kim shortwave. Ah. Cool. Um. I don't have that. Uh, uh what's real? Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. <laughs> the IIR, or Inter Isolary Real, is the oh, he said real. reserve okay. currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Okay, uh, oh, I understand. Uh, you mean I owe you some money? Wow, you're a genius. <laughs> yes, that's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Uh, what do I owe this place for? Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole Oop. in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. <laughs> that will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. Uh, I have 0.40 real. Take it or leave it. <laughs> uh, what, what exactly is what money? What are you? A philosopher? Uh, since I woke up, I have trouble. Uh, no, I'm just getting my bearings. Or actually, I might be. <laughs> Uh, Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. 
<laughs> I like number four. Dogen and coins, they're yours. <laughs> uh, interesting. Where do I get it from? Are you serious? <laughs> from your work? I don't know. But you can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't think cops can take bribes. <laughs> Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Uh, anyway, this money? Yes, it is. Can't let me give it to him. That's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm now down to 90, right? No, you see, that's 40 <laughs> cents. <laughs> cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. But it seems like you took it anyway because of the money lost. Uh, okay. The cafeteria manager stands silently, looking at the coppers on the counter before him. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude between what is asked of <laughs> a person and what they have? Uh, keep it to yourself and pick up the coins. <laughs> There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. So, uh, what happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry, I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started now. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. By the way, where is home? <laughs> the address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't. Oh, it. I have no idea. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Near? South, maybe? You don't really know, do you? I only have a vague blackened image. A vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay. If you run out of money. Hobo cop. <laughs> uh, could I trace the way back somehow? To the exact street, the exact number on the building? I mean, he gave a hint. Jamrock. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Kim said Jamrock. Yes? Um... I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow he's having trouble processing it believing it even i really don't remember anything there was drinking involved have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs there is a sudden harsh edge to his voice like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs uh but i'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in can you help me fine we should get through this day. Yay! Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Thank you. Um. Mm. Anyway, uh, fine. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. Okay. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Um, so I want to talk about you. Me? Yeah, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Uh, we'll work better together if we have more rapport. Mm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Uh, you don't look like other people around here. It's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. Uh, what's Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, mm. pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Insulindian? Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. You're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know more about Seoul. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of okay. my grandparents, and I've never been to Seoul. I'm a regular Rebachelier. Okay. A point of pride to him. Uh, 
that's all for now. Good. Let's change the subject. So tell me about what the case. What do you want to know? Um, would you say this is a mysterious no, case? It's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. What the hell is number four? <laughs> okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? No! <laughs> Bruh. Um, supernatural? <laughs> Oh my god, this fucking dude. Um, white male in his 40s. What more do you I need? I believe that you agree. Anyhow, let's get back to the case. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Uh, if we're from different precincts, why are we on the same I'm case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. Wait, what do you mean? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Better still than an imbecilic cup of. It, it, tell me about it's it. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Okay. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? So I'll literally anything about it. I can't remember a single Maybe thing. you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. A young woman told me a mercenary has been hanged and the manager thinks it was the union that did it. That's all. Then you are not that far behind, actually. Oh. Do you want me to brief you? Yeah, brief. Yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. I personally only take sex in this serious case. <laughs> you look for some of these choices. Oh, they're gold. They're gold. <laughs> During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. Okay. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company. Oh, Wild Pines, like that dude. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Um, did the briefing say who the A security was? guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay for Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Uh, why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Um... Hold on, and the RCM is... That's us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. Ah. We're the police in this city. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Cool. Uh, okay, of course. Yes, I understand everything now. Just to be clear, Ooh. we are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. All right. I I have all I need for Good. now. Um. Anyway, nothing. Cool. That's a lot of info. Wow. Ah. Okay. Okay. Apparently there was a pissing match between this and this. I'll ask after. Okay. And I have to do that in the car. Uh, sink. Okay. I need to find me a tape. How do I do that? <laughs> Priorities. Because like, if I go back to my room, it's a broken tape, right? Looking. Props to the devs for making this whole game fully VA'd. So much dialogue internal dialogue. True. I can say my voice for a character. Okay, so true. I'm glad. Um, yeah, let's go in my room. And yeah, I can't do anything, can I? Huh. 
this is locked, right? Yeah. Okay, what if we knock now? Maybe Kim can talk to her? I don't the know. The door is closed. There is no answer. You hear the shower being taken. Ah, okay. Somewhere inside. She busy. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world what? is doing something without you. Um... The uh, swallow the emotion. The door is closed. Uh, leave. <laughs> okay, well, so much for that. All right, let's go back down then. Okay, so we can go through the door on the left. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere I can get a tape. So, oh, what's what's this? All right. Uh. Okay. And then that's the union people area um is there anything else to talk with i mean to talk Hello, about sweetie wait who's sweetie mm. uh so uh, who's sweetie why you are officer hmm maybe i am and have you found anyone to be sweet to um fuck is this uh um i don't really want to talk about that right now i'm sorry if i was being overly familiar i, I know we've only just met <laughs> i that was going in a direction i did not mm. <laughs> i ain't no homewrecker i ain't gonna do anything with the cryptozoologist wife <laughs> you and then emperor is i am emotional yeah i'm getting so scatterbrained I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Ah. Uh -huh. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. I'm not gonna. That's kind of cringe. Uh. Uh, I, I don't think any of these are good. <laughs> uh, I'm too rational for this dude. He's too wild. <laughs> and I already picked the end build. Um, so you seem to be in a chair. Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower I know what half it means. of their body. Paraplegia <laughs> is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height, or a grenade explosion. Oh, uh, sorry. It was rid of me to mention a wheelchair. What's my wall? That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. Uh, how would you like to roll with? Me? Should I do that? This is a police investigation. Encyclopedia is great. Yeah. Uh... Mm. This is an innocent citizen. What if we get into something dangerous? I've got to get going course, now. Good luck with your case. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh huh. Internalize. Oh, oh, what the? How many can? Huh? What? Eh. What's this? Huh? Until. Wait. Jump across the race channel. Uh, south, Southwest, blah, blah, blah. North Jamrock. Okay. Uh. Uh, oh, there's Hobo Cop. I see that. <laughs> I guess I'm internalizing it. Whatever that does. Uh, okay, let's go inside. I can sleep after 21 something. Okay. Uh, wheelbarrow? Okay. Hello. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, let's look around first. Let's look around first. Maybe we could find potential topics. Pigs go home, street name eligible. I illegible. Okay. Um. This is the summer 
Yes, summer door. Cool. And there's a person. Magazines? Most able bodied men. <laughs> Jump Jeff. Really? Most able bodied men when you have a paraplegic in the building? Haha, <laughs> 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 welcome. Ooh. Magnesium. Hey. What's this? Three T's. Mm, that's a whole different building. I don't know if I want to go there yet. Can we? Oh, we can run! Yay! Oh, what's this? Goods from the... Glory haphazardly litter. Okay. Uh, it's here. That's someone. Just walking around while highlighting shit. Let's see. Hmm. Where are we going, actually? What's this? Oh, and that, actually. Humanox. What's this? An old monument stands oh. in the middle of the Oh, that's big. Pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece. Secured and mounted in the air. With the aid of numerous ropes. Oh, thank ropes. you for the redeem. Uh, uh, have a good sleep, Sim. Thank you for coming. There we go. Stood up and stretch. Who is this? A silver plaque. On the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip the Third, the Squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachon, son of Philip the Second, the Opulent, father of Philip the Fourth, the Insane. Uh -huh. As you look up, you notice something about the Ooh. statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chess piece. Oh, what did this king do? Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, Old Sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. In what way? Well, he blew through the whole oh. national treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachon. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. How did he manage to blow through the entire national registry? Stories uh, treasury. that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber, where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor, and various chalices. Oh. He called it the Sol Aurum. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon. Instead of a bed, like a normal person. Huh. Um. Hmm. Uh. I would like to. I. I don't know if I. I guess so. Yeah, I would like but to see wait. Old you side. haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. The what now? You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold uh. and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Um, so he was addicted to nose candy, a uh, bloated drug. That's what the revolutionary said 150 years later, right before they entered out the royal mausoleum and mm -hmm. dumped His Majesty's mortal remains in the Insulindian Bay. Okay, where is it buried now? Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. What happened to the statue? The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships, during the turn of the century revolution, when Martinez was leveled. Most historians think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. Ooh. If the communards had more time, they would have reduced it up wow. to even finer pieces. Well, who restored the monument? Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, 
thought it would be ironic to restore the statue hmm. of the most wasteful ruler of Rivershaw in the poorest part oh. of the city. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time, a rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. That's brilliant! So funny and nihilistic. People in Martinez tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders with more nuanced social awareness than <laughs> the young ironists. Those critics might have it wrong, though. There's more <laughs> to it than just ironism. But you can't say what precisely. Perhaps this art mystery will be solved at a later time. Perhaps. Philip the Third, the squirrel, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Hoi polloi. Not that he ever did in life either. So uh, what indentations? What do I Something see? Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around where the heart is. A bullet? Someone shot in oh. the heart. Interesting. Uh, Lieutenant, has someone shot the king? Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. Uh, what do you think? Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target practice or a political statement? Mm. Hmm. Uh, it's connected to murder? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, probably political. It's a king and he shot. What this shows us is guns aren't too uncommon here, and people still shoot them. Sometimes at kings. The king stands high above you. Okay, leave. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> well, that was something. Some XP is nice, though. Oh. Uh, what's... Can't level up shit. Okay. At least I think. What's this? Money! Slowly paying off that debt. <laughs> can I zoom out? Oh, I can! This is so much better. Oh, what's this? See? Missed that because I was so zoomed in. Take it. Sure. But I'm not wearing it, right? Yeah, okay, I'm not good. I don't want to wear it. I just want to take it. What's this? Ruins full of snow. Okay. Uh, let's move back now. Let's start talking to some... Oh, God. Okay, I didn't... Okay, I don't think I accidentally opened an overlay, but I don't think the thingy captured that because they don't allow it to. Thank God. Okay, uh, this? Foreign car. Ooh, is that money? Oh, what's happening here? It's a lot of people. Oh, the strike! Wait. Yeah, give me that. Lori's professor. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm a backtrack a bit. Oh. The Stars Riker, one of the finest ah. ships motor carriages ever. An oldie, but a goldie. Uh, who drives these? Not many people outside of Grad and Revachol West, too, it appears. Um, I can't. <laughs> I feel bad for Kim. <laughs> he has to deal with my shit. Uh, uh, Hey Kim, check the this out! Hi, Koke <laughs> That's a classic model. Never thought I'd see another one repainted after what happened last time. Um. Hold on. Maybe I can impress him. Do I know what happened last no, time? Only that the motor no. carriage is typically <laughs> baby blue. The colors of Sigismund the Great, an ancient Zemsk ruler. His banners were famously Zephyr and White. The colors of the stars Raiko. Uh, what happened last time, Kim? An old case for my precinct. A couple of Jim's migrants saw a stage Raiko stopped in the street, painted just like this, muddy brown. Murdered the driver on the spot. Oh. They said it was an honor killing, Hussar style. The Jim's community protested the trial, flying the banners of some old king or whatever. Five thousand came to protest. Oh. Correction. 
4,395. The fourth largest public protest of a criminal trial in Riversham. Oh. Um. Let's see. Uh. Honor killing. Um. Wait, let me go back a bit. So the modern carriage is typically blue. But this one's brown. Um. So who are the GM's community? People we are paid to protect. Let's leave it at that. Uh. Hey, uh, could our hangman have been the driver of this? I tried to avoid drawing far gone conclusions like this before actually examining the body. But my initial guess is the two are unrelated. And uh, what they said in the killers? Four years for murder in reunion. The perps were remorseful. They're sorry, not eight years off the sentence. Oh. That's the system. The prisons in the greater Rivershall Industrial Harbor are oh. Prisoners are expensive to maintain. The longer the sentence, the larger the cost. I see. Uh, got it. Cool. Some info. Let's keep going. Got some people to talk to. At least Kim seems to know about cars too, I know, right? Sheesh, what a great team we have. <laughs> uh, how did I... Where did I... Is it here? I want to go to the other side. There we go, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk to uh, that person over there. Or let's... Wait. Before you stands a motor ah. carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It oh. hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Cuprice Kinema motor carriage. Oh, uh, let's uh, do that later, I guess. Hang on, there's still stuff here. Wow, there's so much to check out. Earthquake. Okay. Okay. Bench. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can okay. revisit the bench if oh. you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. I see. So that's what it's for. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. graffito. A closer <laughs> inspection reveals oh. two bullet holes in the front. A faint sticker on the side reads, RCM Emergencies Desk Number 8102, with a slogan, Mankind, be vigilant. I'm not gonna do anything to the box. <laughs> uh, trash again? Could pick them up if I had a bag. Oh. Okay. An old oh. call box with a matrix That's of a lot. buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Now that's a lot. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Gotta be lurking now. Have a thank you, Bell. Uh oh, defense, defense, defense. Ah, but I still want to ask around, though. You see a set of tire tracks in the Ooh. brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. How about this one? The tire Ooh. tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days nice. ago. Nice! That's so it's cool! A written in the language of burnt rubber. Ooh. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. Mm -hmm. The driver started there and then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the Franco Nigerian <laughs> cavalry, according to the cafeteria. What happened manager, next? The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building, before heading south. Mm. Must have been in a hurry. Is connected to the case? I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jam right here on the roundabout. 
I would keep them separate. Oh, okay. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. Oh. See where they went. If canal. you find the time. Hard to the fence. You are correct. Yay, this XP. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. All right, I think I got it. Oh, oh. Here we go. I could follow the tracks if I wanted to. So that's cool. Oh. Book has a rose. So I have like a game. Okay. Oh. Books. Books. At day. I'm just looking. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hello. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Uh, hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh, what kind of store is it's this anyway? Store, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. <laughs> books? Postcards? <laughs> Easy. Even a kid would know all of this. Nah, it feels inappropriate to lecture this girl. Don't be a fool. As an expert, it's your duty to tell what you know to everyone. I know. I already made up my mind. Sir, are you oh. okay? <laughs> they do know. <laughs> for a while now. We actually do just kind of stand there thinking. Uh, is it okay if I ask you some questions? Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. Uh, who are these famous people? Oh, kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Oh, time's passing. Didn't know Seems that. like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. Hmm. Right, I had a different question mm -hmm. in mind. Um, what's your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum. This is a book, sir, sir. <laughs> sir? <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's inside, minding the <laughs> register, or organising the stock. Oh, oh. Plasance? Shit, I missed the pronunciation. Anyway. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Uh, okay. Guess mm -hmm. I will. Um, what's... Yeah, I'll see you around, Annette. Uh, okay, what, what's all this? Here. Oh, oh. Martinez Pier, roundabout north. Broken window, access windows. Perhaps I could call it. Oh, I need a bag then, huh? Bag? Bag? Bag! <laughs> that... Oh, what? Now I can't inspect it, but they have a bag! <laughs> no way. Look! Yes, please. Yeah! Gonna get some money! <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go, guys. This is our road to a fortune. <laughs> Can I? Is that a thing? Or is it not? Wait, no, this is a thing, though. This is a thing. Take all. Give me that. Give me that. And give me that. I am an officer of the law. And I'm picking up trash. <laughs> For a second, this is about to pop off. Yeah, boy. Do I have an inventory limit for the bag? I don't know. Oh no! Seagulls! Oh no! Keep the food away! <laughs> hmm? What's this? <gasps> Money! Look at me! Slowly but surely, we're gonna pay off that... Uh, that 130. <laughs> Okay, bullet holes. Is this like a binocular thingy? The one you, the, the type that you pay for? I think it is. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Come on. Oh, inoperable. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Uh. 
How about we talk to these peeps? Hello. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. <laughs> Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? You're a man with a fork in a world of soup. I love that sentence. I'm to, <laughs> but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. Let's investigate the body. Search become trash. Yep. These manly men are hmm? playing balls. This is a <laughs> ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. Okay. All right. I got this. Ball time. That's the spirit. Don't even <laughs> waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. Do it! <laughs> huh? Eh? Oh! No! Oh. What's happening? You are immediately oh my god! Surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. Oh, it's a success. You make it work. Um. Uh, okay, feel the ball. The cold metal ball is surprising. We're doing this, I guess. <laughs> it has a pattern on it. Probably a sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered with bumps of oh God, here we go. Yep. And scars of victory. Already, your muscles are adjusting to the weight. Wow. The nervous system calibrated until you and the ball <laughs> merged into the a man ball. Entity. The man ball is ready. The man ball. It's taking the, the surroundings. Breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. All sounds, smells, even the wind. Everything fades until the only thing left <laughs> is the union of man I love and this. ball. There's time for a last glance and word. Who am I? An embodiment of pure motion. A fine-tuned locomotor running at maximum efficiency. We gotta be the ball. Be the man ball. The inertia can be contained no more than a bullet leaving a gun. Let go. Be the bullet. It's so dramatic, I love it. Did we miss? Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> Merde! For day de merde! <laughs> A whorehouse of shit. <laughs> it wasn't whorehouse of shit. The shot was at least 23 meters. <laughs> probably 24, and then some. Nothing to be embarrassed about. What the hell is your problem? I'm playing ball! Uh, not a weak right triceps, that's for sure. I don't care if you are a cop. You do not just ruin someone's game. It's so goddamn disrespectful. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you vandalized our game, son. We can't play petonk with five bull. Oh, petonk. Uh, I thought a shot, but... Well, it's damn well isn't. It's petonk. You ruined a <laughs> We want our bull back. A <laughs> bull. Take it easy, Rene. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Of course there's harm done, you oil slug. You are as a goddamn bull. All right, I'll try to fix Good. it. Mistakes are forgiven when men at least try to right their wrongs. I believe you will try. Now, why did you approach us? Because you were playing ball. <laughs> yes. Why did you come here? It's unlikely they know anything about the murder. You never know. He might know something. Hmm. This is a good vantage point. Uh. I. Uh. You seem to be playing in a crater. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Is there an earthquake here? Uh, no. It was left by heavy artillery fire. Okay, it's a crater left by left by artillery fire, but why? Why what? Why was heavy artillery used? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Wait, who are the communists? Communists, communists, socialists, anarchists. Call them what you like. 
They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Did you? You start selling fire against them? Sadly, no. Oh. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty like they did with this suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Uh. Hmm. Why shell them here in Martinez? Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. Beachhead? Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Three footholds. Um, nod thoughtfully and turn to look northeast. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonk on their oh. mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Um. That explains all the war damage. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course, they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Uh. Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. Ah. Uh. 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 <laughs> all this because I'm a ball, I know, right? Um, that's how it should be. Some social is paving the way for the hard working class to take over. Foreign powers clean up our mess, and then we rule us. Coalition seems quite capable. Uh, commies. Uh, uh, I don't know this one. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food, and drinking piss in the mountains. Huh? I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Frisell had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. King Guillaume. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. This is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. So uh, how does Philip III factor into this? He doesn't. That was 100 oh, years ago. Okay. <laughs> it nothing to do with anything. Uh, who was... Oh, you mentioned Guillaume? A true king in both blood and mind. Led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. Some manner of self-deceit is present in his thinking. Hmm. Sounds like this oh. Guillaume abandoned him, and he doesn't want to admit it. So uh, who was this Frisell? Damn Frisell. He was the king, king. we couldn't okay. protect. The carabineers failed him, and the crown. <laughs> he died in the hands of the Hoipole. Oh, the Hoipole. A very public execution. He slouches as he says that. It makes him smaller. Admitting they left the king to the mob. So what is it exactly? It's a suzerain. Is the king? Has everyone forgotten oh, like a already? Sovereign? <laughs> they forgotten already. It's no nice, use XP. talking to you. You are still in daddy's <laughs> happened. When we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. 
legendary. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I saw the statue of Philippe. Uh, do you know anything about the man? There. Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. And most of the locals? In Martinez. The union is the law. So can you really blame them? But you don't have a problem with cops. Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with oh. policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Okay. Your time is better spent discussing politics. So again, you don't know anything. If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, not a coward. The daily business of the riffraff no longer concerns me. It is true, sire. He knows nothing. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for your time. Don't really want to talk about the statue. I want to do a bit more. <laughs> oh, auto save. Okay. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay. Just some perception, I guess. Car tracks leading onto the roof. Ooh. Uh. What roof? What? This one? This it? Uh. No, that's where it was from. He, like, saw that shit. Anyway, we have more people to talk to. Uh, there was this person. Hey. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Uh, I have some... Oh, you sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have some questions of course. for you. What can I help you with? Uh, we need directions. Of course. Where to? Uh, what's in the south? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. What's on the other side of the canal? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. It's up in the north. There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. What's in the east? The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. And what's in the west? It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Where am I? What do you mean? Uh, I'm a bit disoriented. This is Ravishol, right? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. This intersection is called Roundabout North. Okay. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thanks. No problem. Uh, who are you? Me? I am just a gardener. Uh, cool. And uh, what you I am doing here? I am to meet you too, officer. All right, I... Of course. I won't hold you back. Okay. Mm, that was a thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. And I had to find a pool. <laughs> and I still have to find the tape, too, for it got all okay. Uh, I have to do it in the evening, right? Let's see. Let's walk around a bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can talk to this person. I am a gander. Hunter and a gatherer feel like a traveler. Wow. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. I wanna keep listening. From another planet. Hey there. Uh what's going on here? Jam, my man. <laughs> He's just vibing, dude. I like that. The air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oils. Heavy metals and other byproducts of the modern era. Wow. You could almost taste it. What's the jam? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, and all around clusterfuck. 
Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Oh, how long you been here? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout is an antiquated ah. term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. <laughs> or he just likes unusual words. Or both. I dig your style, man. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> it's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? Um... What you hauling? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Oh. Relax. He's merely joking. Uh. Uh. Okay. And what are you actually I can't even hauling? get a few jokes past you, my man. <laughs> I've got another haul of foul cargo. Mostly sporting goods, tracksuits, and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Hmm, that's your machine behind you? This rockin' beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy-duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6. That a found A6 he got there? Good eye, my man. <laughs> yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. What he's singing, that's a gem so true. I like that. Anyway, uh, I don't have money. So, like, I don't know if I should ask this. Anyway, right, I had the another man taps his fingers question. rhythmically against his arm. Tell me more about the it's strike. Like, whatever's going on over at the docks, workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. What's the union demanding? Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. What do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. <laughs> He doesn't blame them. But he's not on their side. That's for sure. Anything else I should Anything know? Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. All of who? Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Not you? Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him, as if trying to conceal something warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. <laughs> I don't have no empathy. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, no one think about those dead man. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. All right, never mind then. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Uh, I'm good for now. Good talk. Don't be a stranger. Yeah. Hey, that was a nice convo. <laughs> we just vibing. Okay, let's... Um... There should be another Cheshkin somewhere, I just don't know where. But, you know, if you find one, you could get some, uh, bottles or whatever for money. <laughs> Can we take that? Oh, we actually can! I could have taken more shit back there. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, What was... Not much there. Okay. Oh, there's this person here. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and 
there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype from the turn of the century. Okay. As golden as her smile. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I'd like to no ask some questions. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach. Wait. Yep. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Yep, you say so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess she's not very relevant to the case. Some guy's gonna come back to his beer and realize the bottle's gone. <laughs> Ooh, bottle. Nice. Uh, okay, nothing there. Bottle. You don't mind, do you? Yeah, you don't mind. Hey, <laughs> uh, Let's see. Bastards! We have a right to work! Uh, what's going on here? Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. He's a bullhead taller than everybody else. You here else. fuck with us. Beat the honest worker down. Why should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Okay, then I'm thinking no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Yeah. Right to work! Besides... We're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. It shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. What kind of a cause are we talking rights about? Rights of people. Rights of workers. To have gainful employment. To make a salary. And feed their families. His manner of speaking is wooden. The tone of voice bland and uninspired. Almost as if compiling replies from a set of learned phrases. Anyway, regardless, I have some questions. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here? Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Uh... So, uh, who are all these strike breakers? Honest men and women. With rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No, they follow the rules of the market the rules of the economy because they were given a job to do uh what's your goal here we were promised work we'd be in there working if the bastards hadn't shut the gates and you're unable to breach the entrance. main gates locked would take heavy ordinance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office doors locked the guards blocking the way to the access panel and i don't mean the scrawny mess punk either I mean, head measurer, or whatever he is. Uh, head measurer. Huge Seminese guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind him. A bad good one guy be. You seem capable. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. Okay. And he's trained. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there, but that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Have you considered storming in, like all of you? Area 51 style. <laughs> Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. I'm just gonna leave now. All right. Uh. Oh, money. I think it is. Yeah. Look at that. We got three ninety nine to our name. 
<laughs> Check this out. Gri. Okay. If you now return around, you can move faster than their bullets. <laughs> You're hazy on the notion of a scab. It smells like politics, though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time. Uh... Good one, officer. Don't worry. <laughs> we here have solidarity with the RCM. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of... What brings the RCM here, to the wild north? Come to see the strife? Uh, I'm investigating a murder. murder huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. Hmm. Eh. Uh. Maybe you want to help me solve it? Of course, <laughs> Policia. Eh. It wasn't me. You can rule me out. Easier that way. He didn't do it. <laughs> it's the truth. Anyway, uh, it's the strike you about know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad. Okay, to tell you. well we already talked. to ask him. Just first. wondering if he can get more info. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike too. Oh. Just can't break the command structure and tell you now. All right. Well, nice talk. Gotta get moving. Uh, let's see. Oh, how do we even get up here? Oh, there's the stairs. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go in here. What is this? Radio? Ooh. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. Okay. What's that magazine she's reading? Uh, um, okay, what Maybe magazine is this? Uh-huh. This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. We need Dodge when you're a post for bullet resistance. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like it also has something called Police de la oh. Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. Um... Forget all about that. What is what's this fashion police um, feature? It's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. <laughs> it's about who's the most stylish. Bet your hat would take the prize. Um, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> we are not the fashion police. We're the real police. Uh, before we go on, what is this frit? I don't know. Frit. And. Uh, what is for it? A 7 to 11 grocery store. Oh, why is it written with three T's? I think they think that the extra T makes it funkier. <laughs> it doesn't. The story goes that normal Fritta with two T's, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort, oh. was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter oh, okay. to avoid trademark <laughs> infringement. I see. Anyway, just gotta be right back real quick, my dudes.
All right, I'm back. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's proceed. I have some questions for um, you. Okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but <laughs> I haven't seen it, so... How long has it been there? I don't know. Really long. What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. No need to worry. <laughs> It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Did you know the man who Not died? Really? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. Okay, thanks for your help. Uh huh. Uh, leave. What's this? The tear machine stands in the corner. Oh, the let's go! Says, one bottle equals 10 cents. It's time. Your bottles come Look at into that. The and the money appears with a satisfying I'm a jingle. richer man You're now. You're a richer man now. Yeah. Look at that. We got five real. <laughs> it's certainly more than before. We take these. All right. Well, we're definitely going to keep on picking up some bottles and whatnot while, while we go around. That money? Can I go there? I don't think I can go there. Okay. Welcome to Ivashol. Racist lorry driver. Huh. I like how it's I like how he's just labeled. <laughs> Disco Elysium Final Bottle Edition. Good for your environment and good for your pockets. What a bargain. So true. Um Uh Hey, I know Revachol. That's for real. Aren't you welcome to Revachol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, <laughs> while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Okay. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided. Making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revisholian nation makes it harder for Revisol to actually attain self-determination. Um, he's, uh, he's right. You're undermining our best shot at real self-determination. I don't know, I'm just siding with Kim. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revisol. Uh. It's a lorry driver thing. We have we have the meta knowledge. We know he's racist. <laughs> I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't uh. belong here? That I should watch myself and behave? But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Uh. Uh. Uh, fucking A, Kim. I've got your back. You do make a cute couple. You know that. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Now that that's settled, we have a couple what of questions. Officers. He smells of heavy motor oils. And his breath of high tar content cigarettes, probably Astra Whites. What you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. How long's this been going on? A strike? Then? <laughs> oh, they've been at it for a while, a month, two months maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. What kind of cargo are you supposed Apples. to pick up? Oh. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Apples. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions. Uh, wait, oh, wait, not wait, much wait, anymore. Wait. Apples. Apples. Sounds like cover story to me. As detective, I come there we from go. a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. <laughs> Just regular Koiko picked apples. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, you think? 
Uh, oh, so they grow apples in God? Yep, it's one of their main exports. They grow them down south of Yekokata. A beautiful Yeko place. Yekokata. <laughs> That's a fun name. Yekokata. <laughs> in fact, Yekokata is a desolate wasteland whose name literally translates to Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. Oh. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no plant or animal life. Yekokata yeah, is not in the south and they definitely come yeah. from apples there. Says who? It's literally in the name, Zone of Ecological then, Catastrophe. I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those koikois. They are everywhere. Except their own homes. Destroyed with facts and logic. <laughs> yeah. You keep saying that. What does that actually it mean? It means the people living in Grad. Yeah, you know. Grad Nix. Grad Volk. Those degenerates from Grad. Okay, but why that bird? Because that's what they're all called. Oh, oh, oh. Koiko Pichik. Uh, Loslav Koiko. Uh, Koikovich. Someone. <laughs> Low self-esteem. Those guys have. Mind you. They look occidental. But they are not uh, really like us. So it's a slur. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? So, can I see the apples? Uh, did you Ooh. miss the part where I said they aren't here yet? Besides, even if I did have Skill. Some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? Relax. You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what okay. he's wearing. Even if it is something unsavory. Anyway, so we're, we're done. We're done. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we have one skill point we can use. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Mm, uh, let's pick something that's somewhat low, not too high. That one, I don't know about that one. Um... Hmm. Huh. Not that one, that's for sure. No. No. Eh, no. No. Uh. Could be. Maybe this one. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Alright. We got a new skill. That's cool. Whirling interacts at... Oh, wait. That's where we were. Okay. Let's check this out. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, oh. a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Um, pull out the pull out toolbox. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools like some men are. Thanks, Kim. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. Oh, okay. But what can you do? Work is work. I mean. Uh, a pry bar, always the useful. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. Um... Chain cutter. Flashlight, perhaps? It's robust, weatherproof, and well-made. Police issue. Blue. Lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Ooh. And I guess it the take these? The are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. Okay, The pull-up cool. toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. And I pick up the radio. The frequency tableau lights up. Prime and line. the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may oh. I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Oh. Just be confident. 
You've probably done it a thousand times. Hi, Alice. This is the officer from the 41st Precinct speaking. Nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice Dimitri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Um, I need you to connect me to a civilian. Sylvie? She may have reported a murder. Officer? What is her number, officer? Uh, Kim, didn't Gart give you Sylvie's number? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005. One nine four four two nine eight. Received. Hold on, officer. Lieutenant Kitsuragi slowly begins to tap a wow. little rhythm with his right foot. Quite a lot of time has passed. That. Wow. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Hello. Hi. Um. Hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about your last season. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Let's see what tone I should go with. Sylvie, I believe we've met before. This is me, a detective from the Whirling and Rags. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? Um. Why? Why'd you quit your job? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you why not okay did you leave because of guard what no why would you even think that um he told me you asked me out are you saying it didn't happen please don't ring guard on the this it's none of your business oh god why can't you just mind your own business <laughs> she mutters <laughs> I already said I don't want to talk about it. You're messing everything up again. Anyway, was it you who called the police? No, not me. Uh, do you know who made that call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cable to put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. So the Union has a phone, okay. and there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. Hmm. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. But... It just might take a while. But why didn't you go? Didn't the corpse behind your workplace bother you? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the corpse. Um... What does this Union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. What do you mean? You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Uh, wait. Kim, is she speaking to the crew? The Union is still all around her? Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers Union. Uh... Hmm. Tell me why exactly did you let the corpse hang and blah blah blah? I, I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. Uh, what others? The other people who live around here. Local people. I... I didn't want trouble. Okay. You don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt Squealing. with. Squealing. Well, by the Union. Internally. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. I see. Uh, don't worry about it. I understand. You do? Oh. What else can I do for you? Yeah, go on. Uh. Yeah, I kind of want to turn this off again. Can I do that? I mean, what's she gonna do? Uh. I, I don't remember the, what the options were anyway, to be fair. Uh, you mean why did- Why not? Um. I, uh. Let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Are you ever getting back? Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. Oh, I'm curious, I'm curious, I'm curious. I, uh, you know who? Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Bye. I do hope so. <laughs>
please don't call me again. Bye. I could try. I could try this. No. <laughs> she doesn't have a problem with you. <laughs> it must be someone else she's angry about. Some other guy. Like God. Okay, but I'm a guy. Sure it isn't about me. Trust me. You wouldn't want to be the guy here. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. No. You're the guy. You're Lieutenant Love. What's happening? Let's make it extraordinaire. Help the poor girl. No. Lest she turns into a spinster. I'm happy to help, but maybe I could do so without all this internalized misogyny. What misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. Can't a man be honest in his... You have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that... Oh. Hysteria. Think you can do that, Lieutenant Love? What the fuck is number two? Ew. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no. Refuse the love quest, although it's wonderful. Nope. You're just a gimp. What? You want to be more <laughs> empathetic? Call was terminated by the other party. Anything else, officer? Anyway, could you connect me to the 41st precinct? Just a second, officer. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't like that one. <laughs> 10 to 10 five. This is 41st uh, coming over. The downside of high end is that your end can also fuck with you, yeah. The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop. And cops know relay code. Uh, 10 four, station 41. I've got a urgent business, over. 10 four, message received. 10 five, relay message. What's your status, over? Oh. Uh, just reporting in. Over. Ten eighteen. State your message, sir. Um, I need to report my badge missing. Ten nine. Over. My badge can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's Ten gone. Ten message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty two the captain. Over. Okay. Is it him? What does he want? Eh. Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. What? He lost his badge? Say nothing. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? Mullen? Not my name? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. I know my name now. Dick Mullen is oh. not. <laughs> Never mind. It's the name <laughs> of a fictional detective who would not lose his Damn badge. it. We still don't know our name. Come on. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Hmm. Uh huh. Officer has lost his badge. I mean, uh... He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. Oh, God damn it. Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation. Mullen dicked us. Anyway... Uh... Can we just move on? I want to get it reported and be done with it. 10-4, I hear you, <laughs> officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Yeah, what am I gonna know my name? <laughs> What's going on? Super Cafe lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. And I'll put this now. I have other things to discuss. The nine come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you. Check your pockets. Check your. Holy fuck. Holy you don't know shit. What is <laughs> oh god, it's not here. Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. Ten nine, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Uh, do I... Do I want to lie about it, though? Uh... What if they send me one? <laughs> Over the phone, it's easy. Just say it like it's the truth, and then it becomes it. Oh, of course I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't. Thank God for that. 
That would have been a nightmare. Him. I don't <laughs> even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Mm. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it and fast. We can have some gangbanger running around with it. We're all glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. <laughs> you need further assistance. Over. Uh, uh, financial assistance. Thanks for, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... What does he want now? <laughs> He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? <laughs> I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional oh, XP. sound, sir. Over. Uh... It is... Uh... Hey, uh, yeah, guys. Who was their badge and got on the same day? <laughs> Uh, it's paramount to the investigation that you grant me he more money. To the case. <laughs> he isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request denied, sir. Over. Fine. Anything else, sir? Over. There's a personal video uh, to discuss. Okay, then four, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Wait. Before you say anything stupid. Think it through. What's there to think about? You're going to be looking at a straitjacket if you tell everyone you lost your memory. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. Okay. 10 4, sir. I'm not hearing your question. Um. Uh. Hmm. Uh, hold on, you're alone? That's a negative, sir. I got 10-12 visitors present here. Over. Um, I wanted to know if you got my badge description right in your report. Could you read it to me? What? What is it? He wants to verify. But of course, it says Dick Mullen. God damn it. Tell him to stop wasting. Well, you're wasting my time. Over. And then. Uh. You referred to me with my full name. 10 9 repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Uh, say my name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Please just say my name. Uh, what? He seems intoxicated and keeps it. Mullen's drunk and emotionally. Wrap it up. Don't <sighs> in his drunken antics. Fuck these guys. What do I even work with them? Any news about my family? Ten. Um, excuse me, sir. Over. Just thought you might have heard them. That's all. Um, no, sir. I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life, so I've always assumed ever... things weren't that good on that front. Over. I never told you about my life before you were him. Ten for. Does he actually want something? Or... He has the fever. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Just Tell give him a damn name then! Sir, satellite officer Vic Mars. Ah, oh, fuck um, you all. Understood, sir. Over. Oh, pieces of shit. Worthless fucking co worker ass. Anyway, bye. Roger that. Uh, ten, ten. Over. Fucking and useless out. ass call. Uh. Well. The white suede feels luxurious under the touch. And the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Yeah. Whatever. Question is why are they still working with you? There's that too. But it's like, why wouldn't the guy even just say my damn name? Like, what? I asked nicely the first time. Like, fuck's sake. Uh... I mean, I guess we could check out the body now. We've been diddly dallying. Well, hang on. There's something to inspect. <laughs> Bowls. Mm, but not the type we need for the game. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, wait, it's. Right. Our table! Oh! Thank you very much for the follow. Mildly alcoholic. How fitting. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Ooh. What's this? 
Okay. Seems to be playing something. There are several footprints in the mud. Left Ooh. by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Can I try to get an exact count? What do you think you are? Aww. You're hungover. My These morale. Are just in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. I guess I could use the pills I got now. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Uh, Lieutenant Worker's Boot Tracks. Noted. Uh, leave. Damn. Um, where do I... I have pills. I don't know how to use them, though. I want to use them somewhere. I mean, I got them somewhere. Uh, morale. How do I... I don't... Hmm. I don't... Know how to... Uh... Use my pills. I'm not in items. Bruh. The plus icon on your morale bar. Ah, thank you. Okay, I wish the game would have told me how to use it. <laughs> okay. Bucket. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material. Eat tonight. Because it's nice I keep losing these 50-50s. Well Man. Easy on the eyes. Rhythmic pattern. Calms your mind. Oh. Mammals like this stuff. Cool. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented Etonite in the Vartner Polytechnic Institute some 30-odd years ago, he thought it would last forever. Okay. Hence the name, Etonite. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. Alright, thanks, Encyclopedia. Can I... Wait, can I go here? No? Oh. Uh... No, that seems to be inaccessible. Okay. Uh... Oh! Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even see that. <laughs> the Asbestos is my favorite. I don't know eyes. if I had to censor this the or not. I feel like it's stylized enough. Human. Right? It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Man, what is that? Why is it so bad? Decay. It's okay to throw up. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! Turn away. Wait. We need to get him out. Off. Right? Right? Don't we have to. There, he still is. Look it. Uh. Hey. Kuno's got this. If there ever was such a thing, <laughs> then this is it. He's almost oh my God. in his ugliness. I mean, you're right. Like <laughs> oh yeah, not a goofy Kuno. Um, hey kid, word. Uh, uh, police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. It's loving in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what's that mean? The kid is obviously high. Stop getting high at my crime scene. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! Shit himself? The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! I don't see no rake. The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Bruh. A <laughs> Don't know what a rake is or the hell. Anyway, Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. P 
pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. All right, I don't have time for this. <laughs> uh... There are several footprints in the mud. Ah, those are the footprints, okay. I need to get it down somehow. Hmm. Would it hold my weight, huh? Oh! Money! Hey! And magnesium! Cool! Hmm. Do okay, need to find a way to different parts of this place. Oh, anything in here? This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage. Yeah, we get the lock you could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... Uh... Or lieutenant? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. He oh, okay. also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. Alright, leave, because I would have a terrible roll. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't fucking get it down. Apparently. So, okay. Uh, what are all these? Not a company? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East uh, Delta Commerce Center. Whirling in rags? Nothing happens after you ring the doorbell. They don't want to talk to you. Oh, empty card. This button looks new, but someone has removed hmm. the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Huh, this button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. Uh... Main hall building in. An off key melody starts playing oh. after you ring the doorbell. I don't even then know why I'm calling. <laughs> I'm just trying this shit out. Kuno, please stop calling here. Grown ups don't have time for your stupid game. Kuno? She thinks you're the gremlin child. What would he say to this? Who's Kuno? This is the police. Please open the door. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were. Yeah, no worries. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. Huh. Uh... uh what's this one? Silence. Nothing. No one answers your call. What's this? You ring the door. What an ominous name for a hair salon. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for anyone's hair. Um, what's this? All you hear Nothing. is static, but no one answers the call. You ring the doorbell. Nothing. You wait. For Nothing. A Looks like someone has melted half the Nothing. You hear eh? static from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if you can almost hear them breathe. Hello? Is anyone there? Yes. Hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. She sounds almost hmm. antique. As if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Uh, hold on. Try Centennial Electrics? I thought I was calling Substream SEA. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Sorry? It's you. Eh? Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice. Eh? Who cares that you don't remember her? Just go along with it. Um. Uh. Uh. Uh, you're watching his like your hand against all the doorbells. Yeah. Uh. Um. Do I pretend to know or do I pretend to, or do I just go straight up? Who are you? Um. Uh. Uh. Who are you? Where are you? Michelle, just please. Wait, what? Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Uh, of course I care. It's just that I've been going through some tough time. 
Ever since I came to work here. Really. What is happening? I was just ringing random doorbells. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Listen, oh, forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. Hello? She doesn't answer. You said it was nice. What's so nice about forgetting? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. Um, what just happened? Another seagull passes by. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. All right, goodbye then. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Okay, uh. Silence. No, silence. Okay. No one. Well, that's nothing. All right. Good talk. <laughs> And uh, we go back in here to ask for a key, I believe. Oh. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme used on everything from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. What are its hallmarks? Clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. The, I the idea of gang in the century gone is pretty fascinating. The sentiment is called anti-centennial nostalgia, pining for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even now, after 50 years. Okay, random trivia. Cool. Hey, hey. Can I help you? So, is that trash container out back yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing the dust. <laughs> Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. Hobo cop. <laughs> and the too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I uh, wonder what this feeling is. Prod at him and find out. Um, we need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're nice done. Nice one, Kim. Sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> anyway. Okay, any bottles? Okay, I can't seem to pick that one on the table. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we have some keys. So that's cool. We can make some progress. Let's check out what's in there. Uh, it's here, right? Yeah, through the fence, and then... There it is. Okay. This trash container Open the padlock with the key. With a well -oiled crack. The lock pops open. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. What's this? Just the feeling. A warning from some part of you. Open the lid. We the came this far. The smell food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Okay. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Uh, look under the boxes of carton. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. A tea sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Turbo Nothing noodles. Remote, however. Look at the rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. As the legs of the slime covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes? Cadaverine odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, 
They were removed Ooh. when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Bag trousers. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets empty or empty. He wore them with a belt too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. Huh. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for a it. Drab long sleeved shirt. Olive Ooh, what the, food the... Mask, dripping with pus. Bag the shirt. This is a military type overgarment. Oh. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug that catches your eye. But other than that. Uh throwing a towel, a mug. That's all. Alright. We should go to Gart again yep. and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. You think someone from the whirling might have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. Okay. The lieutenant nods. Then looks back the into mug? the trash. You pick out a broken <laughs> mug with an oddly racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Only in its social sensibility. Okay, I guess mm -hmm. I'm taking it. You've acquired an interactable item. Eh? Investigate this item further by going to the interact okay. tab in your inventory. Search the food it's waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, what's this? What? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple eh? pills. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Something larger. Ooh. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes. Written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? I don't know what this is. It is. Look. <gasps> has the RCM street grid on oh it. my god. You've even got an autopsy form in there. Oh my gosh. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? I don't know. Um. As a purple. Uh, no, we're not going number two. <laughs> Um, must have been cramping my style. Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. <laughs> it probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating <laughs> into your style. Hobo Cup! I'm so is glad I looked. Done? Disco! How could this pathetic cabbage add that to the counter? Plastic ever become tray. Disco. <laughs> Trey Disco. Challenge accepted. You should be on the lookout for what stylistic the elements that elevate this cabbage to heights unforeseeable. What does that mean? It's clearly his new office space. Yeah. What does this mean? Huh? Wait, I'm kind of interested. Good choice. Style my Soggy paperwork? Yo. <laughs> Welcome you back. Invitingly. Officer, this is sensitive information. You need to take this seriously. Okay, I'll do that. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Go to yeah, your okay, we're good, we're good. The container sounds a muffled gong. I... Ooh. Do we have our name on the ledger? That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. Leave. Ooh, ooh. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Where's it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. <laughs> they squint at lights and they solve shit. I love this. Um, yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop, <laughs> Dick Mullen, Salem Rocky Bayi, badass on the edge disco. Cop. Disco. 
Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera. Lights. <laughs> you must make it cool. Slap a Supreme sticker on it. Furnish it in gold. I would love. I would love to see what we can do. Um, action. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you, and you. Oh God! What are we it. doing? <laughs> in an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, what is that? This one? Minus two logic. I don't want that. Yeah, no, we're doing this one. We're doing this one. <laughs> um, we got that. We got that. Okay. That will take time. Got it. Interactable. Inspect. Oh, wait, what? What is the interact button? <laughs> uh wait, wait, wait. Controls. Uh oh wait, I was using it right. Oh, okay. Well done. Um, this work in here about some old blah blah blah. Okay. Oh it's the that one. Found in the trash. <laughs> A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell wow. of the urinal cleaner. So on temporary being a delusional superstar cop can give you massive bonuses, more massive than your ego. I see. Uh, anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper. Or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper. Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. Oh. It's a metaphor for you. Thank you, waterlogged ledger, for spelling it out for us. Inspect the white papers. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is checkered with faint red lines forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, Ooh. case files commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. Wow. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. What this? What is in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations oh. dating back to January 51 this year the exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention but there are at least 20 maybe 30 cases undertaken oh. not completed <laughs> mind you it's the middle of march you have attempted two cases a week on average um uh is two cases a week a good... Oh, wait, there's a mention of a naming convention? Yes. It appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins. Yet, still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. A title, one might say even. One that draws inspiration from snoop fiction and vespertine cop show staples. Oh my, and they're written in capital letters, too. Yes, all caps. One is called The Next World Mural. Another, The Square Bullet Hole Murders. Another yet, The Unsolvable Case. More? Others appear more lighthearted. The guys <laughs> on a couch in an unexpected location. And the murder at the Ukar parlor. Even the rare article free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done. Once you're done inspecting them up close. Um, still, yeah, okay, we'll ask that. Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. Two cases a week appears to have been my load, Lieutenant. I'm not sure I completed them, though. Two? That's a lot. 
I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. I'm sure I made plenty. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Aw. Like a fan of girls, the checkered papers dry in your hand. The handwriting is extremely dense, if mostly illegible. Uh, count the pages. There is, for precisely one more. Oh. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Mm. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. Uh, back to the case files. Like a fan of girls, the checkered papers dry in your hand. Oh the wait. Handwriting is extremely. I guess I'll talk about the. Illegible. I guess I'll talk about the name convention. You mean the alphanumeric, officer precinct time of arrival at the scene. I mean a non-numeric one with titles. Oh, you mean the titular? Yes, well, so do I. In our defense, oh. almost everyone in the RCM does. It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Ah. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. I seem to have named a case the square bullet hole murders. Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one the man with the hole in his head. <laughs> that was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that to amuse myself. I pray his loved ones never find out. <laughs> what happened to Ray him? He spiked through the head. He died. Oh. It was a workplace accident. Oh, wait. Uh... There is. Continue commit to paper. Sadly. The letter only comes with an old, worn-down lead oh. pencil. It's unfitting of this monumental event. Hey, Kim, do you have a pen? The lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens hang from the binder, like large-caliber bullets on an ammo belt. He is not really saying anything, just standing there, looking at them. Uh... Can I have one? In order I give this to you with resentment. <laughs> with this beauty. Commit the paper. The task you've completed flow out of the blue oblong pen in a brash freehand uncannily similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Wow. Interview the cafeteria manager. Wow. It's not exactly poetry, <laughs> but poetry would be out of place. Cross out the ones you've already finished. A satisfying slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you, and you. Camps a kid to school that's prepared for literally anything. So true. Things to be done and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen's militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. Hey, Lieutenant, have you by any chance named our case? No, actually. Any ideas? Um... And you're the guy who's never prepared but passes tests anyway? Apparently. How'd we get this far? <laughs> um, the Hangman? Great. That's great. That's actually what I was thinking too. The Hanged Man. Good, strong name. We have a very good name for the case now. Yeah. I'm going to start calling it the Hanged Man. It's Yay! Good Look at that! We're bonding a little. You anyway, don't exactly I'm done expecting them. I'm done so inspecting those. distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. Browse the yellow papers. In the back, you see thin, translucent copy of paper. Some neon yellow, some bright red. All covered in boxes, like marching armies. These look like official ah. forms waiting to be filled out. Then rip them from the binder and hand them out, according to type of form. What types of forms are these? Three. The topmost are misconduct fines. Ooh. The middle ones are station calls. And the bottommost are field autopsy forms. Each is easy enough to make sense of. You don't have to be an intellectual giant. <laughs> um... 
misconduct fine. A monetary penalization ranging from 20 to 250 real. Severe cases allow for 1,000 real, but that requires special paperwork. The details of issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields, but they appear pleasantly vague. Uh, station call? These are quite sinister in turn. They give a date and time for the person to appear at the Ooh. specified precinct police station. Below the call are the criminal charges you risk by not appearing. All in a print so small it could be considered downright cute. That's one way to call it. Field autopsy. A dozen pages of thin copy paper, bright red in color. You see the parameters of a deceased human form. Mm, I guess we can do that in. once we get Age, this body off this sex, string. Condition of internal organs. In yes, of these. Ooh, XP. Is to fill those forms and hand them to people. Fines for wrongdoers, interview requests for bad guys, and field autopsies to dead guys. The rest of the stinking cellulose is much worse for wear. Being sandwiched between the board and the rest of the paperwork must have spared the fragile copy of paper. Can I read the case files? Yes. Yay! You can piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. It always begins with HDB41, then date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. For example, HDB41120. 11700. Zero, zero. The next world mural. Wait, it should be for one. Were those officer precinct? Why, yes. Your precinct number is 41. And HDB. Every last alphanumeric <gasps> in begins. Oh my god! And these are your case files. It's safe to say HDB. Hey, we got a lead for our name! Um. Uh, Horus Debbie Berenger? That is incredible. <laughs> How long does it take to read a case? It takes about half an hour to piece one together using the system you've devised. Where do you want to start? Uh, I, I guess this one? This one is relatively easy to reconstruct. Overnight on 1202, a graffito, nay, a mural, Appears on an eight-story tenement overlooking central Jamrock. The building is a sparsely inhabited ghost tower, part of a failed real estate development called Grand Couron. Cause of failure, rent too high. The mural is enormous. Two silhouettes, a man and a woman, are kissing. Okay. The text cut into their form reads, True love is possible only in the next world for new people. It is too late for us. Wreak havoc on the middle class. Ah, hence the title of People the case. People call it that thing and that fucking thing. <laughs> it's visible for miles. In two days, the station's complaints desk gets clogged with requests to remove the bummer. You and your partner are assigned to the case. The graffito crew is easy to track down. Only the bell lectures have the literage of industrial paint to cover the surface. One of the graffito artists is rumored to be rich. They take responsibility for the execution, but not the design. The ideologue of the next world mural, as the crew calls it, remains an unknown. Do I ever find do I ever find out who came up with it? The case files do not show you finding the author of the design. Read on. The crew agrees to clean up after themselves. However, your partner, JV JV is against the removal citing public support for conservation. This leads to a debate in Precinct 41, which then spreads to the streets of Jamrock, ending in a rare plebiscite organized by you and the rest of Row 3. The 9,000 people subjected to the mural's message, all of Lakeside, Central Jamrock, and Villa Lobos, plus half of the eminent domain, participate in the vote. Although the case begins with what appears to be a lot of rambling on the streets as to how juvenile and hmm. stupid the mural is, given a choice between two options. Uh. Uh. Hmm. I mean, it's art, I guess. 
Depend on woman kissing. True love possible. Only in the next world for new people to make for us. Yeah. Uh. Mm. I don't know. Remove it. A staggering seventy-eight percent of voters choose to keep it. Turns out the opposition were a loud minority. Oh. And that love truly is possible in the next world for new people. And it is too late for us. Mm. I don't... <laughs> um, I like the game. Must have voted and possibly even lobbied to remove that thing. Uh-huh. I don't really know, man. Um... Hmm. I don't know this one. No one cares what you believe in, man with the smelly toilet <laughs> ledger. What do you want to tackle next? Or are we done? Yeah, I can revisit Not this. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags from the clipboard. Look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are rounded, however. The U4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters RCM. Shake my Something jerk. rattles inside eh? ever so lightly. Is there a hidden compartment and something small inside? Hmm? Light, made of paper or cardboard, or dried flowers perhaps. Permeables, it's not hidden per se. The compartment is made for permeable materials that would be damaged if something happened to it. He can say. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it is not see-through. You cannot see to its center. How would I open it? With your hands, you four-sized pages hang from the clip, screwed to the top of the board. We don't have a gun or a second best weapon in this clipboard. <laughs> uh, I can retry it if I want. Whoa! <laughs> that's my first 50 51. Oh my god. Aligned, like a drawer that's come off its slides. If you bend the. Well, that wasn't even a 50 50. It was a little less. Sheesh. The slides snap back into place. It okay. should be possible to just, you know. Slide it open? Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each Whoa. other. The compartment is now open. What's inside? Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Um, pick up the ticket stubs. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the colored pencil drawings. The tickets permit access to the zoo in Revachol East. The aquarium costs extra. Ooh. These let you go there too. Um, pick up the card. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of glue. Uh, smell it first. It smells of chewing gum. Apricot flavored. Huh, a touch how of specific. cinnamon. The end of summer. You think the label says tutti frutti. Open it. Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card. Looped, round letters. In a woman's hand. A young woman in her twenties. There is care, effort, and a smile, you think. Although that is not something mm. you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will make you happy. Wait, what? Throw it away, please. Throw it away? What? Keep reading. Your hand shakes holding the card. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest, down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it has filled me entirely. I step onto the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon when I get off the 42 and walk back to you. Keep reading. You, you, 
Every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul. And I will always, always, always come back to it. Keep reading. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the Whoa. air sucked out of your lungs and the blood sucked Whoa. out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. Sparks fall like snow from the bow collector. A streetcar distance him. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. Eh. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. To what? There's nothing. What is happening? Detective, is everything all right? Nope. Oh, God. What was that? Whoa. The heck? There's a loading screen. Wait, what? Game over. Eh? There is nothing. What? How? Huh? But I've done so much. What? Again. What? How is that? I don't understand. <laughs> Why the hell did I die? What? Well, d don't answer that rhetorical if it's like story related. But, yeah. Nothing said. Blah, blah. Well, almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's me. Blue eyes. Oh wait, that's that, me. this is different. What? Is it? The world is a bitter caustic so. sense of loss remains. Even in the dark here I'm in just the gonna... because it's always white there. morning. Tell him. Tell ah yes. In the old factory system oh. they call it the apricot chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so. But as they say, what do you do? Huh. Huh. Smell so nice. It didn't smell nice. I okay. <laughs> I didn't know. like betrayer. Where's Voyager Road? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on pause. There's something about a bow collector yeah. too. What was that about? Uh, was that the X something? Bloated corpse the... of the past resurfacing. Sure. Don't prod it. It, it will start moving again. Wait, what? Uh, I guess lie motionless? Think they would let you. Until you disintegrate into biomolecules. No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. What is that? It's cold. Yes. They're oh. pouring something on you. It's in you. Eh? And it. It's delicious. Eh? Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Oh. Where am I? In the upholstered cabin oh. of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket. The air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Drink. Water. Drink. The water is cold, silvery. The stuff of life itself. As it pours down your parched throat, the pounding in your head huh. recedes, the darkness parts. Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Whoa, you know okay. The is not made to survive on alcohol alone. You need a secondary form of hydration. Drink. With greedy gulps, you down half a liter of cold water. Some of it Ooh. spills on the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? Um... I should ask you the same. You were reading your paperwork. Then you passed out. I carried you to my kinema to take you to a hospital. Then you came to. How long was I out? Ten minutes, maybe. Oh, okay, not that long. Cool. I came in contact with the burnt out ruins of the past, Lieutenant. That does sometimes happen. He replies with such understanding. It's as if the burnt out ruins of the past were an occupational hazard. 
has a leaked foot for cops. You dropped this. Are you okay to proceed? Let's solve this case. Good. Yeah. The ledger of failure and hatred is a special item that can be Ooh. used both as an interactable and a tool equipped in your held slot for skill bonuses. Find it under the tools tab in your inventory. Oh, Neo. Can we inspect it a bit more? This one, right? Interact. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cap. Oh, and the inspect tool, the clip. an aluminium block, runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. Run my finger across the, the aluminum. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. Looks like an official mark, made to be low visibility outside the right circumstances. Hey, Lieutenant, what's this? What? That thing. It's a halogen watermark. Ooh. We use it for adding information to RCM property. How can I read it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. Like, All for RCM example? vehicles have headlights designed to reveal halogen watermarks. Mine too. Ooh. This That's means cool. you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. What kind of information? Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. Maybe yours will have how many cases you've solved. Okay, that's all. Thank okay. you. While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the... It's just oh, toilet the paper. paper. Stick it to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. Take it off. Still wet, the toilet paper peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off with your finger yeah, and... Yeah, see? Voila, Cleaning up our papers a little. Marginally better. Um... Smell... I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> okay. This gives minus two authority, but plus one empathy. And. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna equip that. Yeah. So you read the watermarks. Okay. And we got some thoughts here. Minus one authority. That. Let's turn on the lights of this then. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. Hey, Kim, how do I turn on the headlights? Ready? I turn, you press start. It's next okay. to the preheater. The dashboard lights up with orange glow. The raspberry Ooh, that's the that's loud. of the Caprice Canadian comes to life with a whiny growl. Like a leopard waking from its sleep, yawning and roaring at the same time. Press the button labeled headlights. The lights unfold with a little click, casting electrical light onto the ground before the vehicle. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. Okay. Inside. And no, 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 no. What? Close door. Need to stand here. Yeah. As you hold your legs there we go. under the headlamp, an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid and the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation washes over you. Ooh. There she is, Revachol West. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro perforations. Look at the shimmering street grid. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. They shimmer in the Kanema's headlights. Wait, look around you. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stop lorries. In the distance, a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. Where are we on this? Let me see. Right here. Hmm, I'm sure I've seen worse. Oh, yes. Coal City. Le Royaume. The Burnt Out Quarter. Look at the perforations. There are many of them. And they are divided into three separate rows. 
tally up the different rows. The first row has 18 dots. What about the next? The next is the longest. It runs all the way around the border and then some. Count them. You count 216 Ooh. perforations. Considering that nice, large number, a wave of pride washes over you. Though you can't say why, precisely. What about the last row? The last row has three perforations. Three. That's it. That's it. Again, what do all these holes mean? Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers huh. often do. Let's take a look. Alpha male officers are <laughs> proud of their numbers. Often do. It's meant. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Uh... You want? You really think I have any idea? Fair point. <laughs> Let's move on. I don't remember we? shit. The next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, let's see. Wow, more than what? 200. Oh. 216. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's Okay, been so we have been doing stuff. Two decades. Okay. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. I used to be good. That's some solace, I guess. What's the last number? Right. Those are your confirmed kills. Oh. You've got precisely three perforations there that's not too many for an rcm officer especially precinct 41 which is in the jamrock quarter it's rather tame i mean that in a good way cool there are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game if they do happen to solve a case it's usually by accident but it seems as though you are or at least were one of the good ones so we have that to be thankful for. How do you handle the strain? Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Maybe I should find a hobby? Anything's better than annihilating yourself with drugs and alcohol. You ever killed anyone? Yes. <laughs> that, was so, that was so fast. Uh, thanks for the this. Lieutenant nods. Okay, let's right. go. I'll go turn off the lights. You can now see your statistics Ooh. on your journal page to the right of the task description. Really? Huh. Name is still unknown, but at least I have my initials, I suppose. Um. Oh. We can level something up. Have we killed? Yes. <laughs> what shall we level up? Hmm. That's for picking. That's for strength. Nah. Hmm. Maybe that one, maybe? I haven't... I don't think I've used this much yet. Um... Maybe this one, just because it's the only one at level 1. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I have a flashlight now. That's cool, I guess. Nothing to say about this thing. Ooh. Hey! Nice. Uh, oh. Okay, can we still actually just not do anything about the body? Like... It's right there. Can we not take it down? Something. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely. Like, am I not supposed to? That's for lock containers. This is a pen. Comes with a side order of resentment. Um, inspect victim's body. Uh, uh, 
I need to try to endure it? Is that it? Because it's still a pending task. There, he still is. I don't know. I don't think I can. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you try to walk away. Eh. Hang on. Ugh. All right. Ew. Oh my god. Can Too we inspect late. it now? It's impossible to keep Please. it. Please. <laughs> Your body curls and yeah, yeah, yeah. Until a pool of vomit lies. Yeah, 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 the yeah. smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. Sorry. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making these words for you. Oh, yeah. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Where we get it? There is Frit nearby, east of the hospital. Oh. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. Ah. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So, uh, let's try the gardener. We know where she is. Okay, come on, come on. At least we're making progress. I, I just want to inspect this body and then I think we can end there. Hello again, officer. Hey, my partner oh, told me you may have ammonia. Can I have some? Sure. I'm done with it. Oh, thank you. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Okay, bye-bye. Well, that was easy. Cool. Thought we would have to buy it or something. Okay, now... Uh-huh. Can we go... Do it? Hello, gardener. Flashes, flashes. <laughs> yeah. Looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. I have to try. The ammonia only makes it worse. The Aww. combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it the second time. Not so much. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, nope, 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 nope. Oh, God. I'm muting that. Okay. Ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the ammonia didn't help at all. Nor does the wind right now. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Uh, why can't I keep it in if I've been cop my whole life? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday, he's cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, baguette. <sighs> then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there, if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. You seem to be fine. I think I've lost my sense of smell. No. Oh. A white lie. <laughs> Not being hungover helps, too. Uh... Do it without me, I just can't keep no. it down. This is a two-man assignment, oh. because it needs two officers to complete. I need oh. your help. Okay, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> well, at least you could hear the audio, I suppose. Anyway. Yeah. You need to get your shit together. Okay. We should go talk to the locals. Volumetric shit compressor! <laughs> it's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Half an hour. Then come back and have another go. Run away. Volumetric shit compressor. Okay. Uh. What is this meant to do? I mean, I'll do it. Sure. I guess. Uh okay. So yeah, I just gotta wait then. Huh. Alright. 
Well, I'm not talking with the kid. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, let's see. Any bottles? Just having. There are some inaccessible areas that I. Hmm. I wonder how we can get to certain accessible areas. Or at least seemingly inaccessible ones. Well, let's see. Let's walk here. Ah, uh, maybe we'd have to get through that. Maybe. Anyway. We'll go here. What's up here? I don't think we've checked yet. You're not someone I talk to, apparently. Um. Nobody betrays your degeneracy. Yeah, Measurehead. Huh? His body totally betrays his degeneracy. Say nothing, size him up first. Are you admiring my morphophysiology? Uh. It must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinnacle. <laughs> be calm, I'm Sandwich. I'm Sandwich? You are not in danger because you are not a threat to me. Um. What do you mean my body betrays my degeneracy? You have succumbed to Al-Ghul. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. Alhul? Alcohol? The woman in my company sick. Uh, Alhul? Yes, Alhul. He means alcohol. Understood. I doubt it. My microcephalic race, so. Hey, uh, Cam doesn't feel so bad. It's not good. <laughs> it's like a rat crawled into your stomach, got drunk, and drowned. I don't have a problem with alcohol. I just drink a little on the weekends. Your mouth moves, but the one who speaks is alcohol. You are but a vessel for the ghoul now. Very little of yourself remains. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich race <laughs> is waning. Does this remind you of someone? The guy down there? Oh. Um. Hmm. Uh. Uh, what should I say? Mm, I don't know if I wanna. <laughs> the final boss of I don't know if I wanna make him aggressive with number two. I am. I I can't. I don't think I can face him in a physical match. <laughs> um. Uh. The uh, race stuff unimportant. Begging for help. Attempting to pass fear for cooperation. How far the Occidental Ablo group has fallen. You were once a noble. I don't know if any of those would have worked out. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. You dominated lesser culture. Yeah, 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 will yeah. Be It is, baby, yeah. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. Um, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to push him out of the way. No way. Um... Uh 
You're right about all this. Now I just need you to let me go into the harbor. Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage or bring your troops to the Simenine Island. What? The walls will be lined with bottle. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Meshachet's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. Oh. Hmm. We got a big brain this somehow. Uh. Right. Idea. The best idea. Nope. How about this one? Ask Ooh. what kind of races there are first. Classification is core to this stuff. Hey, uh, Measurehead, I'm new to this world. Help me understand its races. I need to know what kind of different races are there. Do you? This is for the thing. The lieutenant looks toward the harbor's electronic door, and then to you. He lets out an audible <laughs> sigh. You are obviously a liberal, Sayolite. A polyculturalist. I can see it from your love of microtechnology and your sartorial choices. Do not deny your friend the truth you have denied yourself. There are three categories of race. Tipa, the heroic races. Tibe, the servile races and the vile CF race cauldron of pederasty. Which one do you need education on? Uh, eh? Those are the Simonis, the Areopagite, and the Occidentals. Excluding the Maun, of course. The Maun are riddled with eczema to the point where they find it impossible to smile. They are all lactose intolerant. Anyway. A receding genetic pool has led the Mound on reprehensible street parades. In Mound cities like Stats Canal and Vredefor, wearing wooden clogs on their feet and little green tassels on their hats. Keep in mind that easy way is blah blah blah. Yeah, let's don't delve into the topic too much. You know them by the names of their nation states. The Oranis, the Gotwaldians, Oranis. and the Königsteiners. Oh, and that's... My people simply call them Mao. The uh, freaking... The lady, the first lady we met. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whoa, I just recognized it. Derogative term for first world Greetings. Uh, hello, Celeste this is 28. Welcome, welcome. Excellent. Also, people of Kapi, we're just a, like the Sudu or, and the Uhu, are much more lactose intolerant. We're just trying to get through this guy by uh, pretending that we're learning about this shit. Um, got it. You're welcome. Um, the mound are blah blah blah. Are, let's be honest, not a good satori. So who's Taipei? Yada 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 yada. yada, yada. Production of as proven uh -huh. by the mound and the mess. As long as I'm not gonna get quizzed on this, I might be okay. <laughs> the Simonese and the Areopagite are on the ascent. Um, you know, let's just skip blah 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 blah. Is perfected and I be the koi colors of Grad, Yuko, Zimsk, Chest et al. Time sticking white officer. In a suspect description. Um, uh, I don't know if that's something he would like or not. I can't really tell because I'm not paying too much attention. <laughs> this guy's the most boring person. Well, sure seems like it. I pr I want to go back to the bull guys. <laughs> Those guys were much more exciting. Oh, uh, why? Yes. Blah Think blah 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 blah. Four ethno states. Whatever Whatever that is. Short, is it 82,000 years that we've been recording history? You have very little idea of what is happening, but that seems a little off. Should I correct them or should I just go with them? Hmm <laughs> hmm. We sure character was strong enough to smack the shit out of him. <laughs> oh well, gotta get through this somehow because I'm 
With my build, I really don't think I can push him or anything. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Does he actually believe it's 82,000? How about... How about this one? The revolution. The revolution. Enough of Tibet. Medina. How about this one? Tips. The F are a museum of failed chimeric experiments. And tragic Okay. Man, it would be cruel to entertain ourselves. Do I understand? understand? Nothing. To solve the great race enigma, you have to first ask yourself, what is the race enigma? You have not even worded the mystery, let alone. Well, my solve build is them. mostly in build. There are ways in the game's matter for giving. We'll see. Uh, how do I word it? You need to internalize what you have heard here today, then return to me. I cannot possibly imagine what else we have to Disco! He said the thing too! Oh my god! <laughs> Your love for disco music and venereal disease? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, anyway, bye. We're talking you now. Well, this is kind of my priority though, the shit compressor. Um, uh, whatever. Well, at least we have a way to get it to the harbor, I guess. But that, that'll be for next time. We're not doing that tonight. <laughs> Let's just go back down. And actually, we're very close, aren't we? Uh, 73%. Okay, not as close as I thought it was, but it's something. Oh my god, please just go down. There. I'm just click I just clicked. I just clicked. Okay, any bottles, trash can around. That would be cool. Probably not though. Uh, wait, what's this? Doesn't seem like I checked this. This is my priority, the shit compressor. <laughs> the game makes you say the wildest things. Well heavy It's beautiful that like that, ain't it? Look in the window. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. What kind? The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor, strength, and purity are glued to various panels. Okay. A large metal pendant hangs from the rear view. It is the seal of Ooh. Royalist Era Revachon. What about the back seat? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. Large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. A book with ragged edges catches your notice. The front cover features a large muscular man. The title reads, Man from Eelmdal in the Lost City of the Pygmies. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. Mm. This is our guy. Uh huh. Likely, yes. Oh, experience. Glad I picked the option is. then. Drapes it all over his machine. Okay. Julio. Got some free XP. Not bad, not bad. Uh okay. I forget what time in game we started the volumetric shit compressing thing. Anything there? No. Um. Yeah. Okay. Nothing there. Hmm. Okay. Wait. So. I don't think we figured out who the tracks, or like who owns the tracks. Like the ones near the fence? At least I don't think so. I believe the last thing I heard about it was the game said that tracks led to the roof, but I'm not quite sure what roof they were talking about. Hmm. Anyway. Keep looking around. This dude's just vibing. That's nothing. Okay. Their car. Yep. Maybe we can find the pool. <laughs> Where did we 
Why we do that? It was like... So we started here and the water is over there. Oh, we can't go there. Huh. Let's take a walk around. Mm, I haven't interacted with this yet. This coin operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubblegum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Eh, I'm a look anyway. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onuk written on the other side. With N and C scribbled backwards. That's Kuno. On the oh! Lenses. Kuno. Under the graffito, a the sea kid. of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts. Lanky weather worn wooden planks. An X shaped cross topping its tower. You know this to be the star of Perikonassis or the Cairo. The central symbol of the Perikonassian church. A star, a great moral height to be strived towards. Around the large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, and a small tent set up on the ice. Okay. This coin operated viewer is facing south. Oh. The instruction manual says to insert 25 sentences and pull the handle. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? There was a revitalization project in 49. A design studio tried restoring Martinez to its pre-war glory. It didn't stick. What happened? They got as far as the street lamps and the statue on that intersection. Then something went sour. I suspect that something was Eva Claire, the union leader. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. Say nothing. The lieutenant adjusts <gasps> his collar. Oh it's my god, it's done! Outside. Okay, we go for it now. Oh! Volumetric. Oh! <gasps> compressor. Wow! Ugh! <laughs> Bizarre scientific news from Revachol West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 <laughs> gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. The shit singularity. <laughs> well, anyway, so we did that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess we can go back if we want to. Um, let me look around a bit. Don't think I've checked out this part specifically. Let's see. Anything here? Seems pretty empty. Oh! Take that. Shit singularity man bulb, we have it all here in Rebel Shoal. Sure do. Cape side apartments. Hey! Up here, Pico! Huh? I don't know. We ain't got time for that. Let's go to the body. Let's continue investigating. Just wanted to have a little look see. And we got a bottle out of it. We could sell that. We're still very far from 130, though. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Yep, it's the fence. There it is. Here we go again. Yep. There he still is, looking right. Hi. Through. With his white eyes, Ship compressed. the body below <laughs> is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Please. Emitting it is all. Yeah, yeah, please let me do this. As you oh, finally. In, the odor comes over you. Ah. It's the smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. It's a puzzle. What's hanging in front of you is a puzzle of decaying flesh tattoos and tendons 
Sup closer. The man before <gasps> Yay! We did it! For a pair of underpants and enamel boots. Finally, some progress to this murder case. Marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Inspect the boots. The material appears to be ceramic. They do look interesting. The white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you. Huh. Out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. Ooh. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Let's say that out loud. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Oh. Oh, the lieutenant uses a memo technique, A6. That's not just any <laughs> notebook. It's a classic. Um, kind of a notebook. Tell me about the armor. It's clearly some manner of super armor. Or future armor. Super future armor. <laughs> I'm useless. What kind of armor is this exactly? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the hill. Fair Ooh. weather. Fair weather model T500 VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Uh, what's the rest of it? Scavenge by the locals? Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. It would be odd if they didn't. We should keep a lookout for these species. The All right. could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. Huh. Uh, understood. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying. It is. Material looks out of place it's expensive. here. expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary Oof. deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. How much we talking? For a full set, about four years Ooh. of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. That's a lot, I take it. As a wage, it's regrettably small. Oh. But for a piece of hardware, yes, that's a lot. Uh, how could this man afford such expensive hardware? That's for us to find out. Mr. Gart implied he was security personnel for the Harbour Company. This confirms my own assumptions. Hmm... Initial report? Just something I scraped together from my station. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. He looked pretty advanced for a security guard. I agree. Ooh. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. A uh, knock on the boot? A small bell-like sound fills the air. Like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Sounds fragile. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. Mm. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether, like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials, like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. What does this remind me of? If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. I run my finger over the lines, I guess. A smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice. The worlds Ooh. are in the shape of a letter and number combination. Ooh. E50, 100, 1000. Looks like there's a serial number on the right sabaton. Good. Can you read it to me? Mm. X5415. No! 6745678222. Let's lie. Fucking drama. Stirring up drama. <laughs> we have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. I pull the boot off. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking oh. sound comes from above. Stop! <laughs> He's gonna pull his head off. <laughs> okay, let's go. What's wrong with you, asshole? Shut the fuck up, kid. Know, baby. Officer, if I may ask, 
What were you trying to achieve by putting on the deceased foot? I don't know. See something under it? The anyway, inspect twists. the belt. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Don't ask me how I know, but this is a lashing belt used for airlifting cargo. Airlifting? I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Apparently this is the reinforced kind for air transport. My brain tells me so. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. I don't even get him up there. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Oh. Did they climb up using the kid's ladder? That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Hmm. Could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. Okay. Um... You sure wanted them to stay up there? Rope is reinforced with steel wiring. I was wiring. afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. We're assuming dock workers from the harbor did it? I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? Uh, makes sense. Believably mundane. 70% of the cases I get are just filling in the blanks on the initial report. This belt worries me. The cadaver okay, let's check the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. Uh, is this a national pattern? Of no nation that I know of. If anything. It reminds me of religious illumination, last or penultimate century. Men who live harsh lives often turn to innocentic worship. But which one? I see no trace of a humanoid figure. We're missing something here. I agree. <laughs> oh? He wears a wide leather belt around his waist and a gun holster under his arm. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. What's that? A Trigger Sunshine. Mini. Trigger is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication oh. devices, primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shut up. An instant color camera. <laughs> oh, God. They've gotten the fucking most annoying kid voices they could. Yeah. Excuse me, I sneezed. Uh, okay, camera. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of okay. a small ampoule of glass. In case we need it. Full machine. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? What do we need it this photo for? Insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. Hmm. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We we'll need to show it around. Can I have it? Sure. Oh. Just don't lose it. Okay. I'll do my best. The glossy eyed <laughs> corpse looks by. His mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper. Squint and Teeming. take a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settles oh. in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death Ooh, the that's cool. Pink is where the blood settles in the first hours of post-mortem. Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, 
and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. Face and hands are pink. Eh, wait. Only the lower extremities are pink. That's okay. Okay. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. Relax my eyes. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color. Coursing. So, what do you think? I think he's dead. <laughs> um... I think he was upright? Agreed. Nice. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Seems like a lynching. Everything here seems to corroborate that assumption. But we should still get him down before assigning a probable cause of death. Uh... He's beaten up. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. Stop talking. Shush, shush, shush. Fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. As a girl? I mean, okay. Not that it mattered much, but okay. Something's coming out of him. Of blood and feces has ah, eaten frozen mud below the man's feet. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck he saying? Shut up. <sighs> talking about shit. Anyway. Uh. Mm, we got. Maybe he went to the toilet sometime before death? Maybe. Uh, he doesn't want to dwell on it. Fair enough. Back off. That drive is what? There is no <laughs> breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and his eyes. Look him in the eye for whatever reason. To the world. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Nah. The corpse Whatever. Gets right. Oh wait, wait. I should have asked. So how do we get them down? <laughs> Lonesome. Long way home. I finished the thought. Right. The breakthrough. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past <gasps> station. We know where we live. Oh my god. Past the Boogie Street spearhead to the other side of the lake. The frozen eye at the center of the district. Then past the video rental store on the corner. There. At the end of a street lined with pine trees, a small house no larger than a matchbox. Eleven Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. Okay. Well, at least we got that. Uh... How long is it on twenty? I mean, as long as it, my character doesn't end up actually believing it, I'll be okay with it. Okay, the I should ask. So, how do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's down. Uh, I'm... the cadavers. Oh, never mind. The steel reinforced well, belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters. I mean, what they could I have possibly have gained by doing the thinking thing? <laughs> okay. I feel like the important stuff was already the stuff we saw anyway. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. <laughs> he thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Could... Saw the branch? Climb up there and... Saw the branch? Yeah, it seems dangerous. There has to be a less risky way. With less falling down of trees. Uh... Huh. Maybe... Huh? I mean, we can't even get to the harbor. I don't get that suggestion. Um, can someone else? Someone else? You mean, like, the police? You have a point Sadly, there. Sadly, yes. The whole RCM is out there right now. 
doing the exact same thing we are. Are we in a rush to help them? Not with this on our hands. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him down, fast. Uh, can we shoot him down? How? Where the buckle ties the rope to the branch. That's a good spot to aim. The buckle? Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the bear. Maybe. Yeah. Not Shut the up. Miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. Uh. I'll let him choose. Silence. With his elbow shot, <gasps> the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight <gasps> firearm. He drops a paper <gasps> cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. Oh. That's a Kiel A1990 armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, ascetic, frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and Ooh. assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. Say nothing. He's gonna fucking... The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. Well, a cloud it's not of down. slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. Man. Fucking... Shut up. Kuno could have hit it easy. But then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? Uh. Okay, man. Kuno study too. The lieutenant doesn't say what a now? word. I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Uh. Maybe we can ask for help. From I was Harper. really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appears oh, yeah. to be suspect right. in this case. Right. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. Fair enough. I would really prefer if there was another way. These people might have an agenda. Yeah, let's but reconsider. What other options. The corpse twists on the belt like chicken on a skewer. I'm out of ideas. Let's have another look. Hmm. Leave. I mean, what other way is there, though? I don't really know. You have to admit it looks quite cool. Run the number. Arrest. Shoot her down or ask for help. I mean, should I try? I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm very good at shooting, though. That's not really my skill thing. I mean, I don't know which one it would be anyway. But... Maybe this... Revert all spent skill points. Only for this one or? Only for that one. I think. No? Yes? Oh, I think it might have reverted everything. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, so the past ones. I... Okay. What if I do that now then? The man before you. You know, assuming he yes, would actually lend me his gun. It's bad as it is. Us shooting. Go ahead. I'm not stuck. <laughs> this is the sorriest. Yeah, take it, you fucking banani poika. Take it and shoot yourself in the mouth. Uh, feel the weight. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? My Tell God. Him to shoot himself in the mouth. Keep talking and all. What? The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You I'm not gonna continue the sentence. Planted <laughs> firmly in the ground, and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? Oh. At least you won't miss. <laughs> Point the gun at. The no, 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 we're not doing that. Close my left eye. Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely too. Tempting, but I'm not gonna do that. The metal. The slow movement of the branch in the wind. And your shoulders direct. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry mm -hmm. now, fucking faggoty? It's better. Can I say shut up? For what? You gonna fuck me? Yeah. Okay. You whatever. Fuck me, pig. Is that what I guess these are the best odds we can get. Let's see your modifiers. Let's see your modifiers. Maybe something in 
no pas. Uh, drama minus one. All endurance white check somehow. Uh, maybe our clothes could have been affecting us, but I think it's too late now. Mm. God damn it. A plume of smoke erupts. Uh, your hand goes numb from the explosion. Dang it. With your ear, you missed the belt, but hit the corpse straight. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking cry. I knew it. Ask for another shot. Anyway. You'll get it with the next one. The goddamn light reflected off some window. Surely. Start crying. Uh. I want to do this. I agree. Police work is overrated. It is trying and stressful. Yeah. However, it is still our job to get the dead body down. It's not the guns for. Uh, pig blah, 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 blah. Kuno can shoot that shit down for you. That's preposterous. We're not giving That's you the gun. Preposterous. What you we still need to get him down somehow. But how? The bad way. The way I didn't want us to. Oh no. By asking the harbor for help. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. I want to be dangerous? To ask the suspects for help with the victim's body? To be indebted to Everard Claire? Very much, yes. Which is why I would have preferred us to handle this ourselves. Clearly, we can't. Suck my dick, bitches! Who's Everett Claire? The leader of the Union. A dangerous and corrupt man. Uh, okay. What I... Yeah, don't go Anyway, sick. let's get to it. Got fucking children. Ah, uh, I don't want to do that. Man. Can't I get one more shot? Uh, none of these were really helping or not helping anyway, I guess. Let me heal my morale. And I guess that's about all I can do right now. Anyway, that's that's been a pretty long stream, so let me just get maybe back in here. And then I'll end stream. Are you always here? Wait. Oh. Well, never mind then. Um, can we give the key back? Can I help you? Here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. And the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Uh, who, who else has keys to the trash container? The trash collection service? CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Hmm. Thank you anyway. Did someone on your staff up with them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. All right. Yes. Well... Uh... I don't know what number two is. I'm just not gonna. So that's. Oops. That's updated. Really gonna ask Kuna? Ah. <laughs> I don't wanna talk to him. Anyway, let me save game. Save. And that'll do it. Oh, uh, let me just change the music. There we go. Alright, well, that was a kind of long stream. Um, that was Disco Elysium The Final Cut. I'm certainly enjoying it more than I thought I would. Um, some funny ass fucking lines in there. And I don't know exactly how many times they've said disco, but every time they say it, I'm like, yo, it's the thing. <laughs> oh my god, I also said the word. <laughs> anyway, that is all for now. Enjoy your weekends, my dear fairies. And hopefully I'll see y'all next stream. I'll post my schedule on Monday as usual. And hopefully at least one of my 150 follower celebration streams will also be next week. 
Um, guess you'll just have to find out. And don't forget to join the Discord if you'd like to suggest some songs for me to sing in karaoke. Or just give me some random ass wiki links that I'm gonna be making poetry out of in a different stream. Anyway, yeah, rest well. Bye bye.